Yeah, I did not know mean, that, bro. I, so you don't know this, Mar. I, I do have to tell y'all. I work. I do partially work in IT, so I can. I actually found out a lot of information about most of y'all. But uh huh. That's that's off. That's off the line, though. That's off the line. And you're internet piracy. Mm-hmm. No, your public records are literally all available. By the way, because all of y'all right. use your your real name in some way, shape, or form. Right. So, you know. You know I, know also, I, I you appreciate you using that spy, information. Spying on us. Man, no, you, it's, it's, it's available. <laughs> Ox, it's just fix it. You can scrub the internet. You can you can pay the people to scrub that stuff. I don't. I don't got nothing. Especially you. Especially you with your track record. I, I, I found some stuff. <laughs> I found some stuff. Uh-oh. Me, 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 and the law will be talking. If you know what I'm saying, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if I want to swipe around no more. I'm not sure. I'm, 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 I'm not, I, don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable with swipe being around anymore. The good news, know. if you got somebody on the inside, I can scrub all your stuff for you. Just let me know, man. All I gotta do is slide me some bread on the other side. I got you. Bro. Oh man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Brian, you gonna have to, you're gonna have to end this stream and reset this, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, we just getting into the nitty gritty. <laughs> Tell us more, uh, but we want to know. <laughs> uh, in case really? y'all don't know, this all started because Swiper found out that allegedly today. It's Mars Blackman's birthday today. Mm, happy, well, happy birthday, yeah, he, Mars. We've, we've been waiting for this he, day he for a long the, time. He used his investigations for good purposes to wish me a happy birthday. I appreciate it. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Okay. Hey, y'all don't forget, April 12th, 2024, Mars is officially that would, that, that, that would 14 explain years old. So Mars the Mars is a scumbag Aries. That would explain it. Okay. I, that, that, oh, I, you I, one I, of those people, Joe? Yeah, I got you. Oh, man. Okay. I got you. We got you. Mm-hmm. Mars is a, that, that, that would explain his scumbagness. Okay. I got you. Mm-hmm. I'm it makes on, sense now, Hutch, too. It does. It makes, it makes tremendous sense now. You know, Mars is a scumbag Aries. Okay. I got All right, y'all. Well, right from the top, Rambo E 1996 said uh, Drake about to be on Thanos timing. LOL. Do we know what this means? He about to be on what? Thanos, Thanos time. time. How is he gonna be Thanos? You don't know. You don't want to. You don't want to know who Drake would be in in, in MCU universe, my brother. <laughs> I do. I do. Let's nerd out. Let's nerd out. I want to know. No, that. no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Mars, Mars, it's Mars birthday. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that for Mars birthday. Happy B day, Brody. Hey, real quick though, Mars. You was you was Drop saying like oh, you, you 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 were saying you're one of those people. So you don't. You're not with the. The uh, what they call it, the astrology, astrology, astrology. 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 Nah. you're not with that. I do mean? gotta say, I, I do, I do gotta say this though, once I can't lie, like, I can see where you being born, what what time you were, like, what what time, you conceive conception, like, being <coughs> like, altering kind of like your attitudes, like your moods a little bit. It makes sense to me, you know what I'm saying? Because you mm-hmm. know, like, where the moon is placed, and like, where all the all the stars and all that, the moon is placed, and, like, it it, it it moves like water. And us being 70, what, 72, 76 percent water, it makes sense that when you when you're conceived at a certain time in in the uh in the year, in the moon being in certain places, it would alter how much water your mother like it will it will alter the, the water, the water in your mother's body, you know what I'm saying? All that, the water in your body and stuff. And you know, when you're dehydrated, you feel different. When you're fully hydrated, you feel different. When water's moving a different, it, it makes sense to me. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can see that, bro. I can see it. It, it kind of makes a little sense to me. Bro. Well, I Oxy, that's why I know you've been listening to the man. They telling you that the earth is 70 something percent water. What you don't know is less than 3% of the earth water is drinkable. So how much is really water, brother? How much is really water? So it's not you water because you drink can't drink it? it? You can't drink it. Is it really satisfying and nourishing like water is supposed to be? Think well, about don't, it. Don't don't we have Think sodium? About it. Don't we have sodium and salt in our body as well too? You drink that sodium if you want. That's the thing, y'all. That's why they poison your food in your community. They putting sodium in your food, just like that water that you can't drink. I'm telling you, the three percent. Talk about it. Get on it, chill. Get on it, chill. Three percent of the water is drinkable for all of animal life on Earth. All of animal life on Earth. Mm. So wait, what you're saying, Swipe, so is like, what, you, what are you saying? Because like, I, I get what you're saying, like, all the salt water, we can't drink it. 
but the, it's it's the water, serious. right? Oh yeah, are we it, being serious right now? Is it water? That's serious. That's that serious. Is it water? Really water? Is it water? Yes, are, Mars, <laughs> Mars, let's see how far they could take this. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's serious. <laughs> <I'm trying to laughs> okay, myself, Mars. The great Doctor Swiper in the private anyway, on the flip side to that, happy birthday, Mars! You scumbag. We're talking about Ron. Do your job. They don't. They don't want to hear me and Swiper talk about water. Okay. Y'all don't want to hear about Ostradamus and like I said, the, the great Dr. Swiper. Y'all don't want to hear that? Uh, yes. I'm good. I, I'm, why you sound like a broke comment? That's crazy. This, hey, this, this is an amazing show right here. It is, man. <laughs> really do it. Y'all got to think about hydration is right. a conversation about your nourishment for your soul. You got to think about it like that. You got to think about it like that. That's why they privatize in the water industry across the world. Did you know we have solutions to purify all water on the planet, but they are not doing it because they want your minds to be trapped chill in sodium. Mm. They want to mm. they want to dehydrate your spirit, chill. Speaking of dehydrating, the, the the Boston Celtics have dehydrated me. How about that? Let's let's discuss that for a second. Let's discuss. No, that. you don't get the change. But, you yes, sir, you the show all people. Way. You don't let's get do to that. do that. No, 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 I think yeah, it's about time for me to host now. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's, let's lock in, let's, y'all. Let's, 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 do, let's, do your job, bro. Do your job. I thought I was going to have to bring the, door to your, bring, bring the smoke to your front door. I'm glad yes. you came over to my crib. Yeah, like, you know what, bro? I need to talk discuss, to you about something. Let's discuss let's, let's how the Boston this, Celtics have, have dehydrated me. Let's, let, let's talk about them for a second. Now, I want to make sure I'm clear. I am not a Boston Celtics fan. I am a Jason Tatum guy. <laughs> I want to make sure we clear on that. I'm not a Celtic fan. I am a Jason Tatum guy. That's what I am, and he's affiliated with them. So, in the words of uh, in the words of, of Slim from The Wire, hey, if it's war, no matter if it's a lie, we in it. So I'm in it with him. That's what it is. The game that I watched last night, Mars and I had this conversation about two months ago when they played against the Lakers with no James and no Anthony Davis, and they got they they virtually got their ass kicked and. I came up here and I was livid and I was livid off the strength that you are not good enough with your track record to just show up. You're not good enough. You have to bring it every night. What happened last night was very much like that. I would have bought that performance if they didn't have their fault, if they didn't have their crew, but everybody was available last night. Not only was everybody available, the New York Knicks beat them at their game. The mark of a great champion, the mark of a champion is to play in different ways. If you want to speed the game up, we can play that way. If you want to slow the game down, we can play that way. If you want to dirty the game up, we can play that way. If you want to crack the long ball, we can play that way. If you want to get in isolation. However you want to play, we can play that way. The New York Knicks, they pride themselves, with the majority of those guys being Tibbs guys, they pride themselves on dirty work, defense, rebounding, getting out in transition, creating easy buckets. The half-court offense, that's going to come later. That's going to be the difference in us winning and losing games. We can do all the other stuff. I could crack the long ball. I can play one-on-one. -on -one. Can you do the other stuff? Can you, can you stick your nose in there and go get the basketball? Can you get consecutive stops? Now, I understand that people are going to say, you know, chill, the Knicks, that's the first time they beat the Celtics all year long. We're in a time of year where you can't back into the playoffs. I'm not a fan of that. I've never been a fan of that, and I never will be a fan of that. The majority of the time, when I see teams that are champions, when I, I just don't like teams backing into the playoffs. I've seen teams back into the playoffs and still win it. The Lakers did it in the 1920 season. I, I think the Warriors in 18, they lost three of their last four games. I think the uh, the the Nuggets last year, I think they lost three of their last four games going into – They went 8-10 the on the last 18. Right. So, I mean, I'm, I, I've seen teams backing into the playoffs. However – this Boston Celtic team, the reason why it's concerning to me is off the strength that with your history, with your history, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. And I'd much rather see you guys sharp than see you backing into the playoffs. And that effort yesterday against the New York Knicks, who basically beat you up. They beat you up in transition. They beat you up on the glass. Josh Hart had 15 rebounds yesterday. 15. They destroyed you guys on the glass. They beat you guys to every spot, 50-50 balls. That was the difference in that game yesterday. I was so upset with the Boston Celtics in the way that they played. That performance was unacceptable. Nope. That's all I have to say. About it. What, what What does that mean, though? Are you Are you just make you feel weary, maybe skeptical for the playoff run? Are you 
Are you somehow simmering down some of your hot takes that the Celtics are going to walk through the Eastern Conference? What does this change for you? It doesn't change much, but what it does, Swipe, it concerns me more. How about that? Because this Celtics team, with their history, they don't have a lot of margin of error. That there's teams that, with their history, like, for example, with the Heat, they had margin of error. The Warriors, they had margin of error because as good as they were, they could go on a two- or three-game losing streak and come playoff time, they could get it together. This Celtics team has proven that from time to time, they could go to pieces. I watched them in a dogfight last year against the Atlanta Hawks, a team that they should have handled in five games, only except they didn't. And when I see stuff like this, it's concerning. I'm still, I still think that they're the favorites. I still think that they could get to the NBA Finals, and I still think that they're the champions. What I am concerned with is what their effort was last night and how that's going to translate into the playoffs. I didn't like it at all. Hmm. Well, I would say to the Celtics, as the known Celtics defender up here, I will say that I think because they are at the end of the season, they've already won 63 games. Know what it is? 62? Mm-hmm. Nothing matters. This doesn't matter. I think this point of season's over. There's no reason to play. There's there's just no motivation. They've already accomplished everything. Honestly, if the Celtics would have pushed it like they could have, they probably could have won 67, 68 games this year. But I think they just realized that this none of this stuff matters. Like, they're just needing to be healthy and be geared up going into the first round. They're going to find out who they're playing in the play-in. You know, one of these, you know, it's going to be the Heat or the Bulls or the Sixers, more than likely, maybe the Hawks if they can have one of those crazy moments again. And I think for them, they just need to get to a point they're taking care of business in the playoff. Because we know if they get into a playoff, it is 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 versus one of them teams in the bottom of the Eastern Conference, it's about to get nasty. It's going to get nasty, and they're sure. going to they're gonna, they're gonna feel the same feelings they felt the last couple of years. Why can't we put teams away early? Sure. Why are we struggling with this? The Heat, they're really close in this series to 76ers. If they get to 70, let me ask you, Chill. Let me ask you, Chill. Because like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them grace. The regular season doesn't matter. Chill. If they see the Philadelphia 76ers and Embiid is as healthy he's ever been going into a playoffs since the 2019 playoffs, will you be nervous at all. No, because I think they have a psychological advantage on the Philadelphia 76ers. They own them. And because they own them, and then Phil, this isn't a rivalry at all, that's not my issue. I want to go back to what you said about they have nothing to play for. Swipe, I can't get with that logic. And the reason why I can't get with that logic, because if that's true, then sit everybody. Why are we on the floor? Why are we here? If we have nothing to play for, what are we even doing out here? Just sit everybody and let's just let the regular season play out and let's just let every let let's let the rotation guys play for the rest of the year if we already got this thing wrapped up. But if you're gonna show up and if you're gonna be on the floor, then you have to give effort. There's no they reason can't, they can't just keep building momentum though. Like, no, make sure well, they're playing. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because no, they're not building momentum. If you watch last night's game, they got completely thwarted. They got trucked yesterday. Well, the, the, the every, Knicks are trying to fight for the three seed or the two seed. The Celtics are 13 games up. That, that, absolutely they are. And this is a team that you may see in the playoffs. And the last thing that you want to do against this team is give them any sort of confidence. And for them to go into your building with your guys, not just the rotation guys, not just guys that you got from the G League where you want to get minutes, with your guys on the floor and smoke you at home, not beat you, but smoke you at home, it's very concerning to me. And not only smoke you, smoke you at their game. At no point did you allow not at no point did you make them get into your game. They stayed with their game and they destroyed you at their game, which proves that you cannot be multi-purpose. Which don't get me wrong, I've seen the Celtics over the course of of the season. They just I think over the last 6 or 7 games, their average margin of victory at home is over 30 a game, 31 a game. But this Nick team who they're going to see in the playoffs who they could very well see in the playoffs. I don't want to give these teams, a team like the Knicks, any confidence. I don't want Drew Holiday to, I don't want Drew Holiday to let Jalen Brunson think, yo, he can get whatever he wants whenever he wants against me. I want them to make sure that we're clear. When we see you in the playoffs, you got no chance against us. We're going to destroy you. And the idea that we could just turn it on come playoff time with their track record, I think that's ludicrous to think about. No, I think I, I'm, I'm well, not buying it at all. Well, chill. No. Just again, I think I think it's a little bit of I understand your purpose. I think I have long term hesitations about the Celtics for playoff reasons and scheme reasons. But if you're at, but like in terms of a regular season loss at this time of the year when they've already won 62 games, I mean, for me, it's just a matter of like, 
I think they're just, they don't have the same motivation level to Knicks, and the Knicks need to win that game. The Celtics don't need to win anything. But I will say that I think that if you see this in the first round, then sure, absolutely, the alarm bell should be going off. But I also want to say I said this to you about the playoffs in particular because this is more than likely going to happen at right, some the point. Start next week. Like the playoffs start next Saturday, Swipe, right? but this is the conversation that we're having. You're telling me that I shouldn't be that concerned because they don't have anything to play for. I would buy that logic if this was a, a couple of weeks ago. Playoffs start next week. Next Saturday, we start the playoffs. And to get blown out at home with your main guys on the floor and having to possibly see these guys in the playoffs in maybe the next week or two weeks, that's just unacceptable. It is. Yo, chill. Let's 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 relax. Let's take some, let's do some breathing exercises, you know. Let's breathe it out. Let's breathe it out. I mean, I understand, like, I, I'm not – so I'm not saying that the Celtics weren't trying. I don't believe the Celtics let the Knicks win, but I don't think this is, like, crazy to lose to the Knicks. They beat them by 30 at home. By 30. Yeah, I mean, they got smoked that, that, yesterday. That happens. That, that happens. But I'm saying, like, it, it, it happens. It's just it's basketball. But I'm saying, like, the, the Knicks are the team in the East that can beat the Celtics. So if anybody's going to do it, it would be them. Now. If the, if this happened, let's say this happened. Let's say if this was Orlando to yesterday, or if it was Miami yesterday, I could see like okay, I still wouldn't be concerned though. Like it's not really, it's just really not that big a deal. Ox, they got blown out on Tuesday by Milwaukee, blown out, and then two nights later they get blown out again. When are so we? What do you, when, what do you think? So you just you just think all of a sudden they're just not a 60 win team anymore just because they got blown out like it's, it's 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 not that I don't think that they're a 60 win team. I'm thinking that when you come into the playoffs, there has to be a level of urgency. Like this is the this this is what we did all of this for. This is why we got to 60 wins, why we got to the number one seed. So when the playoffs come, not only do we have home floor, we're ready to rock and roll. We're not backing into the playoffs, we're not coming into the playoffs, skipping in. No. We're ready to rock because all of these teams that we're going to go up against, they're facing elimination. Guess who else is facing elimination, Ox? Us too, because we can get bounced. And with our track record and the things that we've done in the past, this is alarming for me. But chill. Some of us that are your dear best friends, that I know you made a mistake the other day said you called your best friend because you didn't call me. And you apologize for that <laughs> offline. So I, I appreciate you. But what I'm trying to find out, Chill, is that if I've been saying to you, this to you since the day I met you, what? why is today? Why is today when the Celtics have literally nothing to play for? Why is today the day that you start to believe what I was saying about the Celtics for playoff expectations? It's not that I believe it more than it's just more concerning for me. And the closer we get to the playoffs and the track record that the Celtics have, it just makes me – it just – it just I'm, I'm really uneasy about it because I, do, I really don't want to have the same conversation that I had last year, that I had the year before last. I don't want to have that conversation again. And with what I'm seeing right now with a team as close as they are as they are to the playoffs, for them to get blown out like they did, it's alarming to me. I just don't like it. I don't. So, Chill, you understand my concerns that I've been harping on all season. What's concerns with, with yours? In, in terms of everything you're talking about. Isn't good. That's his concern. No, it's not, it's not just well, – that goes with it, but <laughs> it's not just Jason. It's not just Jason Tatum because it's Jalen Brown that's over there. It's Drew Holiday that's over there. It's Derek White that's over there. All of those guys all play together. Right. So you, 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 you understand what I mean by this team. Sometimes it just seems like they're just there. It okay, just seems like they're just going through the motion sometimes. And that's y'all so temperamental. No, we uh, not. What do you mean we're temperamental? Oh, Did you not? Y'all so uh, temperamental. You guys watching the game. Uh, it, may, we it, makes, it makes it makes more together. sense for Ron because Ron's been saying this every time they lose this year. So I well, get in, in, but in like, they've, things, locked, they've I locked up the one you, seed. They're playing for absolutely nothing with three games left. Like the only issue like you could have is oh, where's the pride in them? Like I get that, but like. This game is inconsequential. The only reason I think they're even playing people is so they, they don't go into the playoffs rusty. You don't want to go into the playoffs not having played for two weeks, so they're still playing, but I don't think they care. I so Mars, if Missoula's like, oh, we lost. Oh, come on. we got to make these adjustments before the next game. They don't care. They're chilling. They've got the number one. They wrapped up the number one seed like four months ago. Even though technically it was only like a couple of weeks ago, but four months ago they had it locked up. No one was close. Like, they, they're chilling. It doesn't, it, respect, it doesn't matter. They... they Nothing they do in the rest of the regular season is consequential unless someone gets hurt. Then that's 
panic stations. But other which than is, that, which is fair. I, I, I am Miles. I can I can get with the logic that we've already wrapped up the number one seed and we really don't have anything to play for. However, if we're gonna get on the floor, there has to be a level of effort. Why are we out here if we're just gonna go through the motions? What are we doing here? We might as well just sit because it, again, a team like the Knicks, who are basically built on dirty work, hard work. If they're built like that. We're going to see them in the playoffs, and this gives them confidence for them to come into our building and beat in us. The conference by finals, that's when they whether, it's the con- whether it's the conference finals, whether it's the conference semifinals, it could be round two. Yeah, whether it's the conference finals, well, they whether drop, it's the conference yeah. semifinals. Yeah. I just, I, I, I don't like the idea of giving teams more motivation. I don't. And for a team like the Knicks to come into your building and play the way that they played, and for this to mean more to the Knicks than it does the Celtics with their track record, I just don't like it. I don't. It makes me uneasy. The Knicks are playing for seeding. They're still trying to catch Milwaukee. So, I mean, it, of course it means more to them. I mean, Boston, like even if Boston were battling for the number one seed in the league so they could have home court in the finals, I'm sure they would have given more effort against the Knicks. But they wrapped that up too. Like, there's literally no oh, incentive. Why are we talking try. about effort at this time of year, man? We're really talking about effort? We were talking about pride? Is that what we're doing? At this, that's, at this that's the only thing they have to play for right now. So if that's the case, then oh. sit these guys. Sit them. But hold on. I heard you. You spoke about the 0-1 finals and how Philly won that game one because the Lakers hadn't played a game in nine days, okay. ten days, and they came in. They were just not ready to play. They were rusty. They hadn't played in so long. Philly were just coming off a of game seven. They were, they were in full game shape. They were ready to play. Yeah. The Lakers weren't. That's the same thing the Celtics will go through if they don't play anyone for the last two weeks. They might be fresh in terms of, oh, yeah, we haven't played, we're chilling. But also, they're not going to be ready for a game if you don't play any games. That's why they're still playing Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown on Porzingis. Now, last night was the first time I think they've all played together in a while. Right. But they still played three of them in a game and then they'll rest two. And then the next game, they'll sit two of those guys and they'll play the other three. And like that's what they're doing. They, They need to keep these guys fresh to play. That's why they're playing. Not because, oh, Porzingis, we need these wins. It's because you don't want guys to just be rusty. Porzingis didn't. Porzingis and Al Harford didn't play on Tuesday. Um, mm-hmm. I think Oklahoma City that they played them two games before that. I think if, if I think Jalen Brunson didn't play. Jalen Brunson. I'm sorry. Jalen Brown didn't play in that game. So they are sitting guys. No doubt about that. I just the thing I'm concerned with is not rust. Sure, Mars. If we're gonna be if we're gonna be on the floor, which we need to be on the floor, because I don't like us backing into the playoffs. That effort, I'm not just gonna show up to work. I'm not just gonna come up here and yeah, let's talk about the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, I'm here today. Yeah, let's talk about the Denver Nuggets. No, if I'm here with you guys, and even if I even if I got it wrapped up, whether it's a debate or anything like that, I'm talking to you guys like I'm down in the series. I'm talking to you guys like the series is tied two two. I'm not talking to you guys like yo, we just swept these dudes and. We chilling for the next four days. I feel like that effort always needs to be there, especially this time of the year. That's easier said than done. done. It's it's like it's human nature. Like you, you, you're built different, I guess. But like the t- the typical human nature, if you've got nothing on the line, nothing at stake, it's hard to get up and be a hundred percent every game. It's just hard to do that. It is hard. Like I like I I can understand in a perfect world we want these guys to go out and give a hundred and ten percent in every game. As if it's the last game you ever play. I think that's the quote Alan Iverson said. He played every game like it's his last. You would love everyone to be able to do that. That's just not but realistic. the the human the human natural state is if there's nothing on on the line, you're probably not going to get a hundred percent every single every single time. That's just how it goes. I think we just we cannot like it, but like we have to accept it. I think now, that's just how now, it is. Real, and that's fair, Moss. But this is a team. The team that they went up against yesterday with the Knicks, right? This is not not a rival. Because the Knicks before last night haven't beaten them all year. I just expected a different effort. Even if they did lose. Right? Even, even if they did lose, I expected a different effort from them. As opposed to if they were playing against, I don't know, let's say Memphis was in town. Let's say um, Detroit was in town. This Nick team is a team that we could possibly Atlanta. see. Yeah. Oh, no, not Atlanta. <laughs> well, oh, maybe even Atlanta. Because this is a team that we could possibly see in the playoffs. Now, Mars, I don't expect you to stand on the gas on in every game. I don't expect you. I don't expect you to stand on the gas every game. I don't expect you to be at hundred percent every game. No, but I feel like against a team like the Knicks, who even though they haven't beaten us all year, the playoffs are coming, and we could possibly see this team. So I feel like our effort needs to be better. 
and to get blown out by 30 yesterday. We need you to do some some wasabi. I need you to grab your earlobes like on Bad Boy (laughs) and just rub them and just relax because they lost one time to the Knicks in a game that don't mean anything for nobody but Jalen Brunson trying to get a first-team All-NBA vote. That's it. That's the only thing that comes out of this. He's going to win most improved too, by the way. Who? Jalen Brunson. No, it's going to Kobe White. It's over. It's going to Tyreek yeah, Maxey. Could have agenda, but it's going to Kobe White. Maxie. But it should be Kobe. It should be Kobe White. Not Kobe was my Kobe was my MIP. Right. It shouldn't even be close. By the way, Joe, go look at his numbers from last year to this year. It shouldn't even shouldn't be a conversation. He's also leading the second best clutch team in the NBA in assists as well. So like he's he's been great. But yes, but chill. I just think that you know sometimes maybe it's the uh, it could be the air. It could be the pollen. Uh, some of us are also getting uh, agitations right now. I just think you should just let it go. You know, woo Woo sa, yes, there you go. Because this just that loss means nothing, means absolutely nothing. But that was None still a matters. bad loss, though, Swiper. Hey, Ron. Yeah, you 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 anytime you lose by thirty, it's a bad loss. Yeah, it's just some losses mean more than others. And, Swiper, this is and, mean much anymore. And, and that's a fact. That's a fact. My only thing is, you got your five best players out there, the best five in the league, best huh. best, best lineup in the league, top five huh. lineup in the league at at worst. Not you even got them all on the floor, and you let the Knicks in the second quarter go on what it was a, a 22 to 3, 24 to 3 run, 17 0, 17 0, and I think it was overall 20 24 to 3 run. That's my only thing. Like, y'all was playing, and then all of a sudden, y'all I'm thinking about I'm thinking about championship teams, even though you like, like you just mentioned, Swiper. The, the the buck I mean, the Nuggets losing eight of their last ten games going into the playoffs. I think it was three of their last four um, going into the playoffs. They lost, they, just to be clear, they lost four straight last year to the Spurs, the Bulls, the Raptors. <laughs> oh, that was the stretch where Jokic just stopped playing defense, right? Well, well, they everybody they everybody stopped doing everything. They lost mm-hmm. by twenty one to the Bulls at home. Just to be clear, see that's what I'm like. If I saw that, if, if I saw that, and I was watching the Nuggets, that would alarm me. Like the the Bulls can't come in. That, all we was talking about every day was right. I remember Fruin came on on the show. He was like, "Oh, I've been paying attention to Jokic's defense. Oh, he doesn't play any defense." I was like, okay, right. "Great." But like the, I, I remember because we be um we we ended up being Denver towards the end of last season because they just weren't playing basketball at the end of the season. That's they they were seven games up. They just there was nothing to play for. And then they went into the playoffs and then went, what, 16 They steamrolled everybody. That's what yeah. they did. They just basically steamrolled everybody. But the problem is that the Celtics, with their track record, that's not going on. So I, I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your advice, Mike, bro. There you Usa. go. There you go. There hey, you go. chill, no, hold on. Next... Before you do that, I got one more thing that I got to say. So you might have to read Usa. Chill. All <laughs> I got to say is, I do remember, and I know it's not game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals. I know we're not, we haven't crossed the threshold into the playoffs. I know the stakes are sky high right now. But I do remember saying that maybe the backcourt of the Celtics defense is a bit overrated. And I know Jalen Brunson's like that. But it didn't look like he had no problem getting to his spots last night. It didn't look like he had no problem putting up 39 last night. Against the Celtics starters, it didn't look like he had no problem going six for 11 from three, 15 for 23 from the field. Uh, he looked like he was trotting around doing what he could do on any other team in the league. Okay, so let's not act that's like all I was, I, that's, that's all not, I was trying to say earlier. Let's, let's not act like Jalen Brunson didn't put 44 on Drew Holiday last year in Madison Square Garden when he was with the Milwaukee. He did do that. So this isn't a situation where I'm surprised that Jalen Brunson went off on Drew Holiday and Drew Holiday. I feel like his best defensive years are behind him, and he's becoming more of a reputation defender than he's becoming more of that. I still think he's a, I, do, I still think he's a damn good defender, but he's becoming more of a reputation defender today than he was two years ago. And I don't, I, I don't want to. Drew Holiday. I think he's becoming more of a reputation defender. Drew, I, Drew, I still, Drew Davis. I, I still, Drew th- I, I still think that he's, I still think he's a damn good defender, but he's not what he was two years ago. I think his roles changed on defense. He's just not right. a point of attack defender anymore. Which is he's not. great this year. Yeah, I think he's been I think he's been great defensively. He's just in a different role. Derek White and Jalen Brown have been that point of attack. They're using Drew's like he's like that off ball like, um, when they, roller, they, they roller, when they run when they run when they runs. Yeah, pretty much. But not like free safety in terms of he's playing passing. He's just plugging up every gap. 
and he's able to guard wings because he's got such a like strong base and he's the Celtics he's defense wasn't good in the playoff last year though chill either and there's he just you know, like yeah drew holiday's role has changed on defense more than i think he's just gotten worse now do i think he's slower laterally yeah probably but i still think he's a great defender just in a different role Mars, do you like that role with them would you switch anything around I think it works. I mean, you got you got great point of attack without Drew, like with just Derek White and um, Jalen Brown, because I've, I've really liked Jalen Brown's defense this year. I have too. I think I it stepped to. up. Yep. Um, that you can afford, you can afford, and Drew, I think, is thriving in the role he's being put in as like he's like he's like I don't know how to explain. He's 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 like a really really small Draymond Green in terms of his role on that defense. Like he can't provide like the help at the rim. But they've got other people for that. Paul Zingas, um, Derek White. But what he does in terms of making sure everyone's in the right spot, plugging up any gaps, making sure that if someone has a drive, he's there on the strong side. He's just making things. He's just mucking up the game for other teams' offenses. Now, is he going to be the on-ball stopper like he was in 2019, 2020? Those years? Probably I not. But that. he's still great on defense. Is he going to make all defense? I yeah. doubt it. But they go get cooked anyway by, by Jalen Brunson, so it don't matter. So it, it, the Tyrese might not do it. Jalen going to do it, though. He's going to cook him if he's seen who, him. Who has slowed him down this year? And when we talk about the better guards in the game, who has actually slowed down Jalen Brunson? Because I watched him. Hot dogs. That's it. That's about it. Because I watched I, I, I watched Sacramento blitz him, and De'Aaron Fox is a damn good defender. And he gave huh? him the business. Sound like Yes. De'Aaron Fox is a good defender. Yes, he is. And Jalen gave him the business. Right? He goes up against De- I, I won't even talk about that. If I say if I say in the game we beat them that Amen Thompson did a good job, I guess I'm a glazer, so I'm just gonna chill. But he did a well, good job. Yeah, first of all, y'all cheated. So I don't, I don't yeah, we didn't do. Yeah, it wasn't a foul. Okay, cool. Yeah, y'all cheated in that game. But Amen Thompson still did a great job with him. So right, I don't care. So okay, I, I'm looking for examples, Mars. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking for examples. Yeah, Mars, what, what, what did the job? Done a good job. What did what did he do? Did he like was he able to just make it hard for him? Did he contain him? Did he lock him down? Did he block him a couple times? You know, no, he blo- he, I, I know, I know, I know he, I know he blocked him for sure. But um, I don't know what Jalen Brunson put up. I could look for it, but I know that like when Amen Thompson was guarding him, even if he did score, he was working very, very hard. Yeah. And when he did, and most of the time when he scored, it wasn't on Amen Thompson because you know Eme loves to switch. But when Amen Thompson took that matchup, he wasn't, he wasn't scoring particularly great. Um, but let's just find it. Uh, yeah, this game. Okay, he was ten for twenty-five. Had five turnovers, had 27 points. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, but 27 points, five turnovers on 25 shots and eight free throws with Amen Thompson as his primary defender. Ron, that poll that you put up, um, is Jalen Brunson the top five point guard in the league? So, Luca, let's see, Luca, Shay, I'm, I, I guess that Luca, Shay, Steph, mm-hmm. uh, put his name, Trey Young. Trey Young. No, no, Brunson's better, even better this year. He better step this year too. Than Trey up, this year. And the end step and the Aaron Fox. Yeah. Oh, stop putting Fox in these combos. Yeah, he's way better, way better than Fox. But there's a difference between had a better season and is a better player. No, he's just having a better been, season. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I agree. He, with he, I agree yeah, with he's, he's had a better season than everyone but Shea and Luca, probably. Mm-hmm. So does that so 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 now is that more he's, he's not he's not but he's not better than Steph <laughs> or Trey, in my opinion, but Trey, I can have a conversation. I don't know, he's bro. A, I've seen Steph trying to get to the basket. He can't. He ain't got no. He ain't got no. Huh, huh, he ain't better than Murray neither. Dejounte, Dejounte? I agree. Yeah, I agree. yeah he's Dejounte. not better than Murray neither. So which which Murray are you talking about? He's talking about Jamal. Keegan, yeah. Keegan Murray, Dejounte no, Murray. He's, he ain't better Kyler than Jamal Murray neither. I mean, Murray. look, ain't nobody better than Jamal Murray in the playoffs <laughs> as a guard anyway. So this that's raps. We already know that. He cook what? everybody. All right, Swiper, you sound. No, 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 Ron. No, no, say something else. Say something else. Say I bring up Dame. Don't don't make bring up Dame. Huh? Huh? All right, let's get back to Jalen Brunson. Um, now, Jalen, Jalen, kind of, Jalen, Jalen Brunson is tough, like, which is kind of weird that, and and I think we just had this conversation not too long ago. That I mean, this time last year, where was Dame in the pantheon of point guards? He was having. He was the. I think he was the third best offensive player in the NBA last. Not year. not was, point guard, offensive no. player. Mm-hmm. So he was so we, we go from that to Dame is washed, or or, or, or Dame is barely outside the top ten now. I mean, he just and, and, and Jalen Brunson clears him. I mean, just just this season, he's had a much better season. Unless you think Dame is just this is an outlier season, or do you think he's regressed? Which I mean, no, I don't think he's regressed that, that much. He, he's not I been think, as bad as advertised either this year. 
I mean, yeah, people, people, people are over, for sure overreacting, but I mean, this is his worst season of his prime that is in 2022, mm. in my opinion. Which, I mean, credit to Dame, he's had a very, very good long, long prime, but this has definitely been one of the worst years. And why is that, Miles? It's not just because his, his game has regressed. Well, number one, he's in a different system. He's never played with a guy like Giannis. So people are under the impression that, well, I'm playing with Giannis, so it should just be easy. Well, Wait a minute, Swiper. I've never played with a pick and pop guy, a, a transition guy like that. So my game has to change. Giannis is taking the ball off the glass and going with it more. I'm used to being in the outlet spot, getting the basketball. Now I got to run the wing. That affects my you game. Think he would have regressed with Embiid. You think he would have been better with Embiid? Embiid, yeah, Embiid's a different player than Giannis. So I, no. I do think it would. I think it would have been different with Embiid than mm-hmm. it was with, with Giannis. I think Giannis is more of a ball handler. He, he, uh, He's more of a transition player than Embiid. So I do think it would have been different. And those two guys, he made a he, – like what Maxi was doing, I think Damian Lillard would have did more of that. So we probably be talking about him – like we talked about him last year, we might be talking about him like more this year. Right quick, fellas. I got to take the time to tell everybody to like the video and also salute to everybody that's in the chat. Salute to – um. let me see. Whose birthday is it really today? Um, oh, salute to Mars. It is his birthday today. Um, and birthday, Big Mars. Don Rich. Uh, he said, me and Mars share a birthday. I knew I knew, I knew, knew it was a read. I rock with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Although, technically, because I was born in the UK, and spoiler alert, I was born very early in the morning. Do we really have the same birthday? Right, because your birthday might be a little bit later. Yeah. yeah do, I, do we really have the same birthday? Because when I was born, it was April 11th in the US. So do we really have the same birthday? Because technically for you, I was born a day before you. Technically. Just saying. So I'm just... Hey, my, unless, hey, unless, hey, unless, hey, unless, hey, I don't, I don't know if you donated in dollars or not. Because if you donated in pounds, then... Hey, Ron, yeah, this yeah. dude in the chat, Mike... Let me, let me tell you something really quickly about Mike, because Mike is the dude in the crowd that's like he's Mr. T in Rocky Three. That's who he is. So Mike, what Mike does, Mike takes everybody else's battle raps and he says them, and he says them in the aspect that he think he cooking. Nothing original with this dude. Nothing. He just says everybody else's takes and says I'm cooking you guys. Nothing original about him. So get the hell out of here. Beat it. Yeah, Mike. See ya. Beat it. Beat it. All right, y'all, we're going to be on playback.tv today, but it's not going to be a typical playback. Why? Mm. Because, in case you don't know, today we start a new series of different shows that we're going to be bringing to you guys live on playback. As you can see this Friday, which is today, NBA X will air at 6 Eastern today. What's NBA X? It's going to be a culmination of the best tweets of the week, best moments on Twitter, and everything above with j-rob and damo it's gonna be a hell of a time <laughs> i'm telling y'all it's gonna be a hell of a time they gonna go crazy on there you know damo you know how damo gets down and j-rob's even worse they gonna go ballistic but as you can see starting on the 15th next monday it will be a whole bunch of other shows you got pc football next monday and then on tuesday open gym will move from youtube over to playback that's gonna be a good time too and open gym also has a surprise for you guys pull up next tuesday and you will see and then on Saturday, Chill with Chill will also be on Playback. That's next Saturday. And then Sunday, From the Logo, will be on Playback, too. Y'all be sure to jump on the Playback.tv. Download the app, too, if you have it. And then join the Player's Choice room. And while you at it, click that subscribe button, too. I got a few. Actually, before I get into these Super Chats, I need you guys to answer this. Is Jalen Brunson a top five point guard right now in your eyes? Mm-hmm. Mars said yes. Has he played better than De'Aaron Fox this season? Yes. Is that a is that a real question? Yeah, it is. It, it, it is Jalen Brunson and uh and uh who yeah. you say? De'Aaron Fox. Yeah. <laughs> but why he, why for you why for you is that like a, a difficult decision? What do you what do you think that I mean uh, I, I think I, I think he's outplayed De'Aaron Fox in 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 the matchups that he's that he's that he's gone up against him. But I mean, has he played better than Trey Young this year? Well, Trey's been out for like six years. Well, he's only been out for like a, 
I, I think he, he screwed up his hand and he was out for what, like almost a month. Oh no, but, that's probably a very long time. Right, but up until then, I mean, before that, but before then, he had played most of the season, right? He had played most of the season, and he's the only player in NBA history to average twenty-seven and eleven and not make the All-Star team. What the hell is that about? Well, so Jalen Brunson has played three uh, three more games this year. He's averaging more points. Mm-hmm. He's averaging more assists. Um, Fox has him in rebounds, steals, yeah. and blocks. But Jalen Brunson, across the board, field goal percentage, three point percentage, free throw, effective yeah. field goal percentage, advanced stats, all of it. It's like whoosh, all Jalen Brunson. I think uh, I, I'm trying to think of something he would be better. You could say he'd been a better de- defender. Fox might be, but. Just offensively, I think this is a question. It's, it, yeah, I think Jalen. Be, yeah, be, be clear. Jalen Brunson is an is, is an All NBA performer this year. Mm-hmm. No question about that. I, I I will not argue that. You will not get any question from me about Jalen Brunson. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm just thinking about the I'm thinking about the other guards in the league. Trey Young, right. Steph, uh, Shea, Luca, Jamal right. Murray, De'Aaron Fox. I'm I'm just thinking about I'm thinking about these guys, and I'm thinking is Jalen Brunson better than them, or is he just having a better year? That's what I'm thinking about more than right. I, I think he's having a better year, Chill. I, mm-hmm. I still wouldn't take him over Trey. I still wouldn't take him over De'Aaron. I still wouldn't take him over Steph. Halliburton. And you, you know that name was coming next, Mars. <laughs> I still wouldn't take him over Halliburton. But he is John Moran? a crazy year. Because everyone just John, forget John Moran exists. No, no, I'm not taking Jalen Brunson over John Moran. I will not. No, oh, sir. There's a lot of great point guards. A lot. But I do think Jalen Brunson has had the third best season of a point guard this year. I think Luca and Shea. And where does he and where does he fall? Like if, if, if the season ended today with league MVP votes, where does he fall? Because the Knicks Ooh. can end up grabbing the number two seed, Brunson. He's going he's gonna get fifth place votes. So he'll be so he'll be top five at the end of the season. Some, somebody uh, might vote him first or second. One yeah. meaning one person might, but he's gonna get majority fifth place votes when he does get votes. Mm. He might sneak. He might sneak a couple third or fourth place votes. Mm. If they finish I mean, above the box and OKC at a three seed, I can see people giving him some third place votes after Luca. And I can't wait till I get my my NBA votes because I'm getting rid of all that. If Jalen Brunson votes over Luca SGA, no, never happened. No, not Luca. Um, I said Jokic and Luca would be one and two. I think he could. Just no, I'm that. saying, but I'm saying if you saying like some people give him three, I think then somebody that means somebody from Shea, Luca, or Jokic is gonna not right. get a vote. Yeah, Shea, Shea would be the fourth place for that's t- Shea. Do you think the narrative marks on Shea's uh, foot too hard in the last uh, couple weeks because of the injuries? Um, how's it flip? People- what, what some you people say had him at the very top. Some people were saying he's the MVP, and we haven't heard that in a minute. It's now right. yeah, that's what I'm like saying. Jokic yeah. and Luka is the only conversation. I don't think Shea was the MVP at any point, but I, I think people, I think people have just, I think the end of the season always skews a lot of perspectives. So if you <clears> end, <throat> if you end the season slower, you do like it holds more weight than if you start the season slow. Like the first fifteen games, if you aren't great, but then you're great for the rest of the season. That's fine, but if you're great the whole season and you're you have a slow last fifteen games, mm-hmm. all of a sudden your MVP. Yeah, it's cooked. You're cooked. Yeah. So yeah. like, that's that's kind of the disadvantage, I guess, of Shea's injuries coming at this time. But I think I think they're getting it right. I think it's Jokic and Luca. So even if it did flip maybe too hard, I think at least they they ended up getting to the right answer, even if I think it's for the wrong reasons. But and, the, and the, the, the fact that he's been out of the lineup, I definitely think that has a lot to do with it. And it doesn't help that Oklahoma City was winning when he was out of the lineup too. So that also was an issue. And and they're no longer the one seed, which hurts. Yeah. Because the big part of the case was Shay's getting this team to the one seed. Now right. I know they're like what one game back of the of the one seed, but like now that they're three seed, it just right. doesn't look as great. And Dallas are one game back of the four seed, which means they could finish, they could really finish one spot behind OKC. And if Dallas finished one spot behind OKC with all the injuries they've dealt with this year, it's kind of hard to justify Shea over Luca, in my opinion. That's why. Hey, I think kind of fellas, I need y'all to follow me right quick. So, first team All NBA. I think we have four bona fide locks: Jokic, Luca, Giannis, Shea. We can all agree that those are all four first team All NBA players, right? Like locks, who? And, and Shea, Jason, Jason Luca, 
Shea, Luka, Jokic, Giannis. And Jason Tatum. No. Now stop, I got to see. That's, why we're doing that's, that's the conversation. Who is Jason fit? Tatum. I, I why think Jalen has a shoe in the race. Because too. of the record? Just because of the record, chill, that what you're saying? Not, not just because of the record. I mean, he's. The, <clears throat> pardon me. Just throughout the, throughout the regular season. He's been more consistent than he hasn't been. Yes. But that's compared to LeBron, Jalen Brunson, Kevin Durant. Yep. Do you think he's been better than all those guys? And I'm not – record is not. Do you think he's been better? He's, he's, he's not he, – we're not talking about him on the Boston Celtics, right? Yeah, we're not we're talking, talking about, about him football. individually as a basketball right. player. Has he been better? Yes, he's been better than James. He's been better than KD. This is a lie. This is what I'm saying. We're not actually talking about the basketball. We're talking about this is what it looked like. I like his aura. I like his jersey number. I like the green. Oh, we're, just talking about, we're talking about games. We're, we're, we're talking about games. He's actually taking a step back. Because he's taking a step back, he's actually, him, with him taking a step back on this Boston Celtic team, it's actually made them better, which makes him better. What kind of, how do you, so I just want to be clear. You take a step back, which again, I want to be clear here because people, I like Jason Tatum. I would want Jason Tatum on my team right. as my number two option or my one B. I'm asking you, how do you take a step back right, and get less efficient than the year before when you were scoring more? So he's scoring less, right. less efficiently, and he's been very good. But comparing his numbers to Kevin right. Durant, the situation to Kevin Durant, comparing his numbers to LeBron James, the situation yep. to LeBron James, what I'm trying to understand for myself is, for Kevin Durant particularly, when he started the year off, the first third of the year without Booker, sorry, without Booker and Bill consistently, yep. he was carrying them. They were playing really well. They've been very good with him on the court. So I'm trying to understand, like for me, I think Tatum is in the argument in the conversation. But if you're asking better basketball season, I need to hear you tell me what he's been better at, for instance, than Kevin Durant this season. It's, it's so, Swiper, you think KD should be first team? I so when I did my my uh you know fake fake award stuff because I don't have a vote yet. Speaking into existence, Ron. That get swipe, get, swipe, get swipe on the MVP vote. Right, right. I got my media credentials this year, so maybe yep. it's a couple years away, right? So this is what I'm saying. Get swipe, get swipe as an MVP voter. Right. Get swipe on the ballot. So this is what I'm saying. Is Kevin Durant, for me, I think it's had – if he was higher in the rankings, Ron, I'll say like that. If he was a top four or five seed, he would be in the MVP conversation. He would be, he would be in the MVP conversation for five or four for right. a lot of people right now. I just think he's just been slept on because they're in the plan. Now, but I that's think not that his fault. Right, and I think that's why, but with your logic, when you're looking at Kevin Durant's numbers, I can absolutely appreciate that. But with that being said, I can look at Luca and say, Luca's 34, 9, and 9. How much better would that look if it was 29, 8, and 7, and he was a little bit less efficient, yet Dallas was a 2 or 3 seed because Tim Hardaway Jr. was better because of Luca. Uh Gafford was better because of Luca. His numbers go down, but that team is better because he's doing more for them. So when I think about when I think about Jason Tatum, the fact that his numbers go down in terms of his shooting, because that's all you're talking about. You're talking about a guy as a bucket getter. The fact that he averaged 30 last year, and this year he's averaging around 27 a game, and he's a little less efficient. So instead of him being at 40, I, I think he's at 40, what, 48? I think he's shooting 48%. Who? Who? Jason Tatum. Uh, I think he's, he's I think shooting he's 40, 47. KD shooting 52. Tatum shooting 37.6 from three. KD right. 41. Tatum shooting 83 for the line. KD 85. And then effective field goal percentage. Tatum's at 55. KD's at 58. And KD's right. averaging more assists. Uh, right. More points as well. Right. And and how much and, and what would them numbers look like if KD just did a little bit less? Right? He did a little bit less. And added well, when when like, could he have done that though? That's what I'm saying. Like they were they were injured for most of the year, which would explain why they which would explain why they which would explain why they are yeah. where they are. So if Porzingis was out of the lineup for as long as Book was out of the lineup, if Jalen Brown and now Jason Tatum had to do more, okay, like well, then he go, did to, last then go to Derek White, go to Drew Holiday, right? They're still, they still got it. They're still rolling. Even if even if they are still rolling, he's still integral in what they're doing. Even if his numbers, oh, go we down. agree. But I'm saying we're comparing him oh, as we're, a basketball we're, we're, player we're to comparing, Tatum. Yeah. Uh, right. We're right. comparing – We're comparing. I, I have a difficult time with the numbers thing because, again, I, I appreciate the numbers, but 
it becomes a nasty. I appreciate the numbers 100, but it becomes a nasty conversation when you're talking about the numbers because it becomes nasty in a, off the strength that a guy like Miles and I had this conversation when when Marcus Smart won the Defensive Player of the Year. Mikael Bridges cleared him in everything, but Marcus Smart won Defensive Player of the Year off the strength that he was on a better defensive team. Not only was he on a better defensive team, he also did less. So if we're doing, if, if, we're, if we're just going off the numbers, it just gets real tricky when you're doing that. Real tricky. Did, any, did, did anybody take the time to make sure they put a bid in for Kawhi in this first team conversation? I think Kawhi, well, Kawhi's also awesome been great, yeah. but he's not gonna he's not gonna get it though. He's not getting. Oh, it. I know, I know you won't get it. I, I also saying. agree, Ox. There's four of them. There's four of them in the combo, and there's a fifth in Jalen Brunson. All of them are in the same combo. Jalen Brunson deserves some de deserves a, a, com a bid in this conversation as well. Jalen mm -hmm. Brunson, Kawhi. KD, LeBron, Jason Tatum, all, all five of those guys we talked about. Why does, why, does Le, why does LeBron why does LeBron get a case but not Anthony Davis? I think Anthony I'm Davis. Fine, I'm, I'm fine with that too. I, I, right, I, won't, right. I won't say he doesn't. I was just thinking okay. off my off my off the top okay. of my head. But I, there's, there's a lot of guys. Well, I think I think this season a lot of guys have stepped up to the plate. And I mean, if, if anybody tapped into Chill with Chill, which is the best show on PC, you would know. I feel about Jalen Brunson this year. I'm. I think I would be a okay with him getting that. A okay, one hundred percent fine with Jalen Brunson getting that. Yo, we got a twenty five dollars super chat from Jay Got Game. He said, "So when does Jalen Brunson just become a top player and not just having a great season? Does he need another season of this?" Question mark. Question. He said, "Not being sarcastic, I want another criteria." I think he is a top player. That's a Where great question. I think. Do you mean like? Because we said he's not, he's having a better season than guys like Steph and Trey and whoever, but he's not better than them. Is that what you mean? Because I already think he's a top player, but do you mean when I, does I he think so? I think so much. Now, when yeah, you said like, top like player, Mars. Mars, what are we talking about when we say a top player? Is he a top 15 player? Is he a top 20 player? What are we talking about when we talk about Jalen Brunson? I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm going to go with like when does he surpass Steph? Like, how long right. does Steph have to be at this level and Jalen Brunson at the level he's at before he's better than Steph? Right. Um, to be honest, I, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think there's a set like objective. It's after 77 games of like, I don't I don't know. I think it's just when you when I'm comfortable saying he's better than Steph, I'll say he's better than Steph. For me personally, I think I think no one would say Jalen Brunson is better than Steph if the Warriors weren't the 10 seed. Now I understand they are the 10 seed, so whatever. But when I'm looking at this Western Conference and how stacked it is. Couple more games and the Warriors are the six. I don't think anyone's saying Jalen Brunson's better than Steph. I still think the values. Okay, I still don't think many people are saying Jalen Brunson's better than Steph. <laughs> um, I just think the value that Steph's still bringing in terms of what he does for that Golden State offense. Now I understand what Jalen Brunson does for this Knicks offense. I brought it up that like, they're like the worst offense when he's not on the floor. I understand, but I still think, especially when you get to the playoffs, the things that Steph is able to do and create for an offense. I was thinking about this the other day. Steph changes the the rules of how you are meant to. Play defense that's something that you can't you can't equate that to numbers there's, it's an intangible thing you can't you can't there's no number that shows the value of how step makes teams have to defend him and that's always just going to be a name value in my valuable in my opinion as long as teams are defending him that way when you have that the outlier shooting he still has and i still think he's still a very strong passer a very strong playmaker now do i think there's a regression in terms of his quickness ability to get downhill and for some reason, he has one of the worst whistles I've ever seen. So I think there's a conversation to be had. But I think the reason why people are so comfortable to have the conversation is because of the seeding. And for uh, me, I'm just I'm looking at it beyond that. As two players, I still think I would rather have Steph now. Now he is 36. So I'm sure that will change soon enough because Jalen Brunson mm -hmm. is he's ridiculous. So I want to uh, give him his flowers. I mean, Mars, I'm I'm I gotta come off of that way of thinking because I, I I also want to start that way. Um I feel like you can be a better player than somebody, but this player is just playing better right now, right? Mm. So there's 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 been games where 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 inferior players play better than superior players. It happens all the time, but when somebody has a whole better season, I have to go ahead and say that this player is better. I, I right as of today, one season or as of, one as, of, as of, that's all we got. I can't live in the past. I don't give a damn about what happened in 2022 anymore. What? I'm talking about today. Yes, chill team. To Jalen Brunson's better than De'Aaron Fox. Jalen Brunson's better than Steph Curry. Jalen Brunson's better than Trey Young. Jalen Brunson is one better season. Than... 
Jalen Brunson. I mean, I call. I, I've been saying if this we, about Wemby the whole year, go, so I call. If we go, if we go off, if we go off a career, I can get with you, Chilltown. I can get with you. But we're not talking about career. Look, if we if we get if we get on this on this hardware right now, we line it up. What you did in 2021 is not going to save you. We are talking about today, and Jalen Brunson is better. Uh, and that's, my and my that's, thing is, and it's, I, it's, it's, it's really it's really black and white. It's cut and dry, and it's no, simple it's as not. that. It, it I, is too. I, I hear you. you can, I hear you because I can't. I can't say. I can't say. Well, oh, well, he's he's. How does it even make sense for me to say? Oh, well, I'm better than you right now, but you're a better player than me. It doesn't make sense. If I'm better than you, if I'm better than you, I'm better than you. I don't give a damn. If we're talking about careers, if we're talking about longevity, if we're talking about uh 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 what you call it, legacies, that's fine. Right. But that's not the conversation we're having right now. And no, if we're next not. year, if, if next year if things go, if things go back, if next year right. De'Aaron, De'Aaron Fox starts making better decisions down the gut, right. if 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 De'Aaron Fox starts making free throws at the end of the game. Then okay, cool. We can go back to what it was last year, but it's this year right now. And Jalen Jalen Brunson, I repeat, he's better than Steph Curry. He's, he's better he's than not, uh, He's better than Trey Young. He's, he's better than he's will, better than Tyrese Halliburton. Jalen Brunson today, right now, this season, he's the better. He's the better player. We gotta stop this shit. We do this. We do this because we want to. We want to coddle ourselves. We want to be comfortable. No, we want, no, we, we, we don't. We want. We want. We, we, we don't. We don't. We, we're afraid to take a leap of faith. Sometimes you just gotta jump, chill town. Sometimes you just gotta say, you know what? Burn the boat. Let's 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 stand on something. Then we, we don't have to, we yeah. don't have to put we it's don't have to always way, put clauses in the things. Let's just keep it a bean. Jalen Brunson is better, and that's just what it mm. is. Mars, this. For just this isn't the first year Jalen Brunson's doing. He was doing this last year, like not. Well, that's where. I, that, that's but this where is the second the year of Jalen Brunson at yeah, this like going, insane right? level. Now he didn't make the All Star team, robbery. But like Jalen Brunson was at a similar level to this last year. He was right. shooting the three out high clip. You the still same immaculate footwork, ability right. to play with his pivot, great post game, right. mid range game, floater range, everything. Not much on defense. Everything was there last year. So this isn't right. like oh he got one lucky year. And we right. just, oh, well, how much do we value that? He's been doing yeah. it. This is two seasons now since Jalen Brunson has got given the keys to a franchise and Jalen Brunson has shown you. And then he translated to the playoffs last year too. So we can't be like, oh, we got to wait for to see in the playoffs. He did it in the playoffs too. So Jalen right. Brunson has done everything that normally people More say. More than once, by the way, Mars. Yeah. More than once, by the way. Mo mo like most of the time is... Can they do it for more than one season? Jalen Brunson ticked that box. Can so they do it in the What are you waiting for? Jalen Brunson ticked that box. More so what, what, more, for, what more do we need to say Jalen Brunson is better than a Trey for? Young or a John Morant? What now me, I said why I don't for? think it, hello, I said why I don't think he's better than Steph Curry. I think that's just that's basketball reasons. It's not oh I'm hanging on to the pass of Steph Curry. I still think Steph Curry's the better scorer. I still think he's a better passer. I still think he's a better playmaker. And I still and I think he's a better defender too. So I still think Jalen Steph Curry is a better player. But mm -hmm. I don't think we can use the sample size argument against Jalen Brunson when Jalen, this is two seasons now, mm -hmm. and he's done it in the playoffs, and he's done it against elite defenses in the playoffs. Yep. Mm -hmm. what, what more is there that we need to see? Mm -hmm. Multiple swipe, times swipe, in the playoffs. Swipe, you, too. Remember, you, remember, you remember when Jennifer Love Hewitt was standing in the middle of the street, spinning around, talking about, what are you waiting for? That's what I want to know. What okay. are we waiting so, for? What, so, are, what, is the, what is the hold up here? We can't, she we, also we can't. she also peaked in one year as well. Just so you know, mm. so, she had she had about she had a y'all know y'all know, know I'm a milkman. Let me let me, let me, let me. <laughs> yo <laughs> yo I, with when between Steph and Jalen Brunson, the numbers are close enough to the point where you can't just say Jalen Brunson clears him in that department. I never said he cleared him. I never it, once it, I, would, even, I wouldn't say that. But he, he, even Respect when you watched him play though. You still, the eye test still favors Steph. Maybe your eyes depends what you're looking for. It, it, and when I'm we have the when we have these conversations, for example, Ox, you just mentioned Jalen Brunson is better now. Today, right? Today he's better. We have to have this conversation of well, when was he close to him, as opposed to when he surpassed him? Because I'm not, I don't, I don't subscribe to the ideology of guys just jumping over guys. When they weren't close, we go we go from having a close season, or we go from a guy not being close to having a good season to clearing a guy or but jumping. Why, guy. Chill Town? Why did see, see? That's what I'm saying. Because it doesn't work see, like see, that. Feel, it, it has to work like that. Everything is not linear. We all don't grow at the same pace. I remember. I remember one day I was five eight. I go back to school freshman year of high school. I'm six three. 
Boom! Everybody else was five, was that was taller than me. Now I'm taller than him. Look how that happened. It, it, you know, it's not linear. We don't all, you know, some things accelerate faster than others. Just because last year, if I averaged nine and you averaged 17, but this year I come out, I'm putting that work, and now I'm better than you. You can't say, Oh, you're not better than me because last year I was way better than you. We're living in the past. Shout out Jalen Johnson. We need we so, need to we need to, we need to facts, get with but Jalen Johnson was a minutes thing. He was that so, so 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 with your large. Last year you averaged nine. This year I averaged seventeen. I'm back. Last year I averaged seventeen. This year you averaged seventeen, and I averaged eighteen. That means you're close to me. That doesn't mean you just clear me. That means I, I caught I, you. And and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not only did I not only did I average seventeen. The year before that I averaged eighteen, and then the year before that I did that. So now you automatically go from now automatically you go from going from nine to close to me to clearing me when I'm still doing. I'm still doing what I was doing in the past. It's not like you're doing more than me. But chill, but chill. Spaceships don't come equipped with rearview mirrors. So you know, you know what that means? Like, what, so what, are we, what are we looking so, backwards so, for? So, so if, okay, so if that's true, then we got to stop. When the season starts, who's going to win the league MVP? Who's going to be the defensive player of the year? Who's going to be the sixth man of the year? We got to stop doing that. And the reason why we got to stop doing that, because all of that is predicated on what they did the year before. All of that is predicated on what we've seen them do previous yeah, to that. We are not doing that. I'm cool. We got to stop doing that. You got to get rid of all of that. If that's the case, then boom. That's the casualty. You got to get rid of all of that. here. Let's stop. Let's. If that's what that means, then let's stop doing it. Because if 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 doing that sets precedence for us always looking backwards, I no longer want to do it anymore. I I, I no longer want to do that. You're right, chill. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. And then, that, and, and, and then that and then that means that what I've done previous to this doesn't matter. It's what I'm doing right now. That, oh, that's all that matters. Ex exactly. So, exactly. Because so, so when, so, so so when, 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 when the ref throw that ball up, what happened last year means absolutely nothing. I don't buy into that ideology. And the reason why I don't, I don't buy into that, there's a reason why the Denver Nuggets are on TV more than they were last year. There's a reason why teams play harder against the Denver Nuggets th this year than they did last year. You know why? Because we're the defending champs. This would have built this. And teams want to crack. not going to save you, Chilton. That's that not the point. That, that, that's that's that not the, the point. point. No, it's not. No. So I know right now. Right. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact that because I'm the champ, you're going to come harder at me. I know that the, I know that because I'm the champ, you're going to play hard. You're going to play hard because I'm the champ. So I got to bring who I am previous to what last year was. And the reason why you playing the way you playing, because you wouldn't be playing like this if it was last year when I wasn't the champ. But because I'm that now, that's why you're playing the way you are. So I got to raise my level of play because of what I did last year. And I can't just I can't just dismiss what I did last year because you ain't dismissing it. So no, I'm not buying into that. Absolutely I'm not, not. I'm not. I'm not saying dismiss oh. it like I'm not saying dismiss as far as we 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 don't have to just pretend like what you did never happened. But I want I, I don't want to. I, I can't. I, so what we do here a lot is we talk about oh well he was a he was a lottery pick he was a number one draft pick that don't mean shit. When we on this when we on this floor when we playing ball where you were picked in the draft means nothing, Chilton. It doesn't. Who, it doesn't. It, how many points you averaged last year means nothing. Who oh, won doesn't. MVP last year means nothing. Who yes, won the championship last yes, year does. means nothing. Yes, Who's winning right now? Who's better today? I, 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 you right, I, and I'm not. I'm not. Chill, I'm not no, no, no. Right, real quick, right, real quick, right, real quick, I, if I if I punch if we out here fighting if I punch you in the mouth and you don't got you don't got a mouth guard in your tooth coming out. Just because you had a mouth guard in last year ain't saving your team today. Uh, here, here's, here's the thing, though. Here's, 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 it sounds like you have a calcium. Here's the thing. It's, 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 it's different. It's, it's different, though. If you if, if you're not performing right now, it's different. If I was balling last year and I'm still balling this year, let's say I was balling last year and I won the MVP. Right. It's 30, 39 and I, right? And this year, maybe I'm averaging 29, 8 and 8. Okay, my numbers have d decreased slightly. And I may not be the MVP this year, but I'm still a bad motherfucker. Yeah, but I'm bad too. I, I was, last year, last year I might not have been as bad. My mama wasn't letting me outside, but I'm off the porch now, Ron. Right? Okay, so and, and, and check, and check this out. Can't save you no more. Che but che check this out. So your mama, your mama can't save you either, right? So that exactly. means you better have your mouth guardian too. Exactly, and that's and all that's, I'm trying and, to right. say, Ron. That's and, all and, I'm and, trying to say. And I have no issue with what you're saying, Ox. That means that last. So, for example, with Jalen Brunson and De'Aaron Fox. You think that De'Aaron Fox? Are you you think that Jalen Brunson has jumped De'Aaron Fox? Not last, cleared him. Last year De'Aaron was better. Not, this year Jalen's better. Well, well, the the question that I'm asking is: Last year, how close were they? 
Yeah, I think they were pretty. I think they were close. Okay, to talk about. Okay, I think now we talk about. Now we talking. Okay, the year before that, how close were they? Uh, uh, it was a little, bit, little bit more distant. A little bit of a gap, but, 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 this, but it was this, something. This, this, this but it was. This is particular on. instance, though, Chill Town. This is what I mean. That's just what, this case. What, 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 what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is if they were, if, if there was a two years ago, right? It maybe had been a gap, but there wasn't. There was a bit of a conversation, and then last season we got closer. It mm -hmm. wasn't even if even if De'Aaron Fox was better, he still there still was a conversation, and he was closer. This season, Jalen Brunson has played better than De'Aaron Fox, and he may have jumped him. I can get with that logic, but don't sell me that two years before when we weren't having a conversation about you and me, and then the next year or last year, I was better than you because I even had a better season, and then this year you have a good season or even a better season than me, and now you clear or you jump me. No, that logic doesn't work. If we're yeah, close in, if we're close in conversation, if we're close in conversation years for years, I can get what you're saying that this year he jumped him. But if it wasn't close, no, I'm not trying to hear. But see, nope. chill, that's 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 just this particular instance that you just gave me. And once again, I told you before, the absence of evidence does not mean the evidence of absence. You know what I mean? Just because we have that one, that's cool. But let's say, let's say that, let's say, let's say that two, let's say two seasons ago, Jalen Brunson was this far away from De'Aaron Fox. That's that's this far. But now this year, he's here. I have, I have to accept it. I can't. I can't just go back to 2023. I can't go back to 2023 and talk or 2022 and say, oh well, Jalen Brunson. Was was five points or, or seven points? Just because you can't see the evidence doesn't mean the evidence isn't there. That's the point. He's no, saying. You know what no, I'm saying? I know, but, saying. But, <laughs> but hold on, but hold on. But just because the evidence you is you no, hold on, hold on. You can't hold on. Swipe, hold on, swipe, hold on, swipe. Because you swipe it. Did you let Ox stop you? I'm going. If I if, mm. if 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 just because just because two years ago <laughs> you were so far away from me, I can't keep going back on that. And, and saying, oh well, I was this much better than you in 2022, so you can't be better than me now. You know, that's that's like what that's what like what dudes in high school do when they when they like try to give people like backhand compliments, like like when somebody when some you know what prime example. I saw this happen with my little brother. My little brother was like a late bloomer in, in who, and it was always it was always particular people that would say, oh man, he got he just got good, huh? Like. But what you're trying to say is, what you're trying to say is, oh, I'm surprised, and he's not as good as they say he is. Well, no, he is now. He wasn't then, but now he's now he's killing you. He's doing you bad. So don't try, don't try to talk about what what was going on two years ago. That's just it's just not fair to these guys. It's not fair to Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson is put in the work. Jalen Brunson has he's he's overcome a lot of things. He I I was with I told you already. I was with Becky Hammond. Now I'm like Becky, shut up. Dude is really like that, and we we can't we have to accept the facts, Joe Town. He's done it, and we can't keep going back and say you can't just hop guys because you can. And this, uh, if you, I, that, that part I won't argue. Whoa, I, I won't argue that uh, that that you can that you can jump a guy when it's close, when we're actually having a conversation. You're not jumping me when two years ago this wasn't a conversation, and then the next year I'm awesome, and you're 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 still not close, and then the next year. I'm, I have kind of a down year, and you have a better season. Now you've jumped me. No, that logic doesn't work. But if we're having a conversation where each year this is a conversation between us, and it's and it's a conversation and it's close, yes, I can get with that logic. I can definitely okay. get with that. Okay. Uh, all right, y'all. I, I, I need y'all to answer the original question. What's good, Swiper? I would just like to go back to this point. Uh, just because the – the absence of evidence, meaning that the evidence is absent, wouldn't it then be that if the evidence is the indeed not there, um, that the evidence is still absent? Doesn't mean that it doesn't, doesn't mean exist. It does, but absence means point. that it's not it's not there. We just gotta find it. But that doesn't mean we can't find it. It's it's there. We just don't have it right now. That's all that You're means. You're cooked. I'm not yeah, I mean, so just trying to no, figure I'm out not, how. No. Like oh. is this like one of those uh, one of those scenarios like if a tree falls, um, like did the it tree make sound even though it was around? Right, is that is that one of these kind of things? No, something like that. I guess okay, so. I don't I got know. you. All right, all right. I need everybody to answer the original question. We've had a few different spinoffs from this original question, but I need answers and I need them now. You got Shay, Luca, Jokic, Giannis. Who is the fifth player that you guys believe 
should be first team all NBA. You get to choose them right now. Who are you choosing? Mars, I'm gonna start with you. Um so who's been the fifth best player this season? Um essentially. Um see if MB is healthy, this would be so easy. It's, it wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't it be nothing. It, it really be, it wouldn't be nothing to talk about. It really would. How many games away is Embiid? Look, he's played like 38 games. He's played less than he did in 20. I don't think he played. I don't think he played half the season. This year. That's he's it. 38. 30, 30, 30, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That boy, and that boy was rolling. Before I'm not gonna lie. Too. Embiid for 38 would still make mine with him. Man, for real, that but, just. <laughs> but um, you know, Mars. Give me. Yeah, damn near. Mars. I'm not gonna lie. I I'd, hey, put, I'd hey. put Embiid on my well NBA team with 38 games. Hey. Um. Uh, Ox, you, you, being a, you, you being a Ox, you being a Scotty Pippen fan, just so you know, Scotty Pippen was first team all defense in '98. He only played 36 games that year. That was it. Rightfully so. He deserved it. He earned it. He <laughs> put that work in. <laughs> <laughs> he would have got my vote, Chill Tim. Sure. All right, Ox, who you got? Uh, Kawhi. Kawhi? Okay. Mm. Chill Tim? Jason Tatum. Swiper. Uh, in order, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Chase, Jalen Brown, or Jalen Brunson, Jason Tatum. So, so Anthony Edwards gets no love on this. No, list. he does not. Okay. This much no, love, he does not. This much love, zero. Not yet. He ain't, he ain't there yet. Okay. Not yet. With what, what, what? And I mean that with love, though, Ron. Right. With what? Uh, with all the respect. I didn't what even else know did he have to do? I didn't even know better. he was an option. I'm not gonna lie. Get yeah. What team does he fall on? Check second, second or third. Third, but third for me. Third for me, but second, second or third. Uh, third so for me. Second team: JT, LeBron, KD, Kawhi. Now remember, it's positionless, Mall. I got, remember that. I know. I know. Yeah. So it, then Tatum fell for me. So I had Anthony Davis. Can I put KD on first team? Anthony Davis, Jalen Brunson, Jason Tatum, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard. My my second team. I'll just swap. I'll just swap. Um, Put KD on there and then Jalen Brunson too. So KD, Jalen Brunson, um, LeBron, Kawhi, and JT. Yeah, that would be my second team. So I can make, make the third team or well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And third team, I have Steph Curry, Devin Booker, DeMontis Sabonis, Jalen Brown, and Anthony Edwards. I dare you keep Sabonis. I, 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 I dare you, media. I dare oh, you to keep Sabonis. I dare you to keep Sabonis over Wemby. Which, by the way, way I, I'm glad. I'm glad we on. Maybe right can now. make it too. Last hey, night, hey, hey, Ox, last night, the month last Sabonis night. doesn't have a new shoe that's inspired by AI. Does he? Last night, last night, mm. I'm glad I got Mars. I got Mars here because Mars last night I was flipping through the channels while I was watching New Orleans in in uh. Days of our lives. Just so you know, Mars, the world on NBA TV, the 2009 playoffs was on, and the Celtics were playing against none other than the Bulls. So I got a chance to go back and check He's out okay. Joakim Noah. I got a chance to check him out. Joakim Noah was not bonus. No, he wasn't, Mars. Man, that's the 09 Joakim. No. We're talking about, like, we're talking about, we're talking about like no. 20 years. We're talking about 2012 no. to like 2015. 2011, 2012. 09 Joakim is like, that's like year three Joakim. Yeah, he, was, he, was fresh, he was fresh he was fresh out of college. Yeah. yeah. Now, wait, wait. Chill time. Chill time. I also want to say this. That might be, that might be rookie Joakim Noah. We, we good on him. I also want to say this, Chill time. I don't agree with Mars. I got Demontis. But I'm okay with anybody having Joakim. I think Joakim was that good. Joe Kim was dope. I, I got nothing but love oh, for Joe Kim. Well, I, 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 if it's not Joe Kim Noah with Tom Thibodeau as the coach, then it doesn't count. We're not talking about we we talking about Tom Thibodeau, Joe Kim Noah. That's who we're talking about. So when he was at, Man, so when he was at peak power, and he when about, he was when he was Billy Donovan, Donovan Joe Kim Noah, that's, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Billy Donovan, Joe Kim Noah. You know, that's what I want to talk about. Oh, you talk college. All right, okay. Chill. Also with Joe Kim Noah, you got to understand it's not really stats and things like that that back his. Impact on the game. A lot of his impact on the game was on All the, the defensive screens, end, where it's, it's not yeah. not so much me measurable. Uh, the hard that he brought, rebound, and things like that. And underrated stuff, passer too. Underrated, passer. very underrated passer. Very underrated passer. He was the very. original Randolph guy. That's what he was doing ten years ago. That's him. He needs to get more credit. Him and Tom Thibodeau. 
He bet he bet as a bonus. I what be what would Joker look like in in its to right now today, Morris? Depends depends on what team he's on. Um, Let's give him a favorable team. You put him on the Kings. Take some bonus off the Kings and put Joker. <laughs> what are bad team? No, no, we're not better. Hey, with you Joker. know what though? I maybe. Here we go. No, no, no bro, think about it, chill. No, think about it, chill. Hell no. You got you got a bigger paint presence. You got a guy that can really anchor your defense. Still do the whole dribble handoff thing. Maybe not as effective as Sabonis. Yeah. He just you got a guy that still it, it's still, he, he's gonna finish around the rim somewhat well. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. The Kings still got their shooters. They still got their M- Malika score a little more. Our shooters are hurt. You got to score a little hurt. more. We look, we look no, different without Kevin Malik. We're talking about a full strength. We're talking about a full strength. You you guys don't like Sabonis over there? Or uh, Joe Kim over there more than Sabonis? I like I like him, but not more than Demontis. No, I don't. I, I like him on other teams, though. I, I, but like I said, I, can, I couldn't say one bad word about Joe Kim, though. So I'll sit this one out. I'll sit this one out. Joe Kim, yeah, yeah, Kim, yeah. Kim is nice, man. But yeah, Wemby, Wemby's on my Wemby's on my old NBA team before Sabonis, for sure. That's all I think. Can't they just be on the team together, Morris? Because yeah, I don't know. I haven't, made, I, have, to be a I, I haven't made an all. I haven't made an all NBA roster. I haven't made an MVP, but I haven't made any of those things. But I know I would have Wemby before Sabonis. That's all I know. Now maybe they both make it in the, on the third team. That's absurd. But I would have Wemby before Sabonis for sure. Yeah, I guess. I can, are you I looking can't. at Wemby? Are, are you looking at Wemby strictly as just a player, Mars? Well, that's what I'd be looking at, Mars. What he produced also matters when you be when you're an All Pro, Mars. He's produced more than Sabonis. Sabonis led the league in double doubles and triple doubles. Mars, what are you talking about? Okay, and Wemby's been the second best defender in the league the whole okay. year. Okay, okay. Uh, AD. Yeah, AD might have yeah, something AD to say about Sabonis. that. AD Sabonis. What are you talking about? And Rudy Gobert has something. On, yeah, Rudy Gobert has something to say about that. Okay. And at he's one top, point, he's top five. He's top five. And at, and, at one, and at one point, if we're being honest, I mean Sacramento was the top five seed. At one point, and this wasn't in December, neither Mars. Yeah, the Kings are a better team than the Spurs. I'm not about to touch right. Wembley. That, that, to that has a lot to do with the bonus. Why they are has a lot to do with him. A whole okay, lot. You put him on. You put him on the Spurs, and they're the worst team in the West. Who cares? Like I don't. I don't care that his team is better. He's on a bad team. The Spurs the aren't a good team. The Spurs aren't a good team. I'm not about to touch <laughs> Wemby because he's on a bad team. That doesn't. That doesn't make sense. The team is terrible. The team is actually. Viable when he's on the floor. It's not my fault they lose by 200 every time he goes to the bench. Like, I can't be like, hey, hey, Wemby, you can't get an all NBA vote because every time you sit down, your team goes down 16. I can't do that. Like, no, Wemby, Wemby is better than Sabonis, and Wemby will get my all NBA vote, which I don't have, before Sabonis did. Now, both of them can maybe make it, but I'm just having a difficult time. I'm having a difficult time trying to keep him off the all NBA team. I, 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 I'm thinking good luck with that. Because I don't think that's ever happened, where a guy led the league in double doubles and triple doubles and didn't make the All Pro team. I don't think that's ever happened. With that, with that being said, Shitter, I'm serious about this. I'm serious about you making the playoffs, getting you on these teams. Now, my thing is, if you miss the playoffs, you definitely can't be first team. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I subscribe to that. One hundred percent. That's why I didn't think. You don't that. think Luca should have been first team last year? No, no, no. Luca and Shea last year they had a no. whole thing about nope. it. Mm-hmm. First team. Nope. No, no, mm-hmm. not at all, not at all. Luke and Shea should should not have been first nope. team last year. So with, I mean, with that being said, I gotta, I you know, I, I gotta keep it real. I got, I gotta be hoop first. So that that could be a ding. That's a ding on Demontis right there. That's a ding on De'Aaron. So honestly, if they don't, if both of them don't make any first, second, or third team, I'll be a little upset about it. But I, I have to accept it and respect it though. But Demontis needs to be on that third team for sure. He can, he can maybe make it. We'll probably have to do an All NBA show at some point. Well, you so, want to do I'll, I'll, I'll probably have before, a dinner support. Might want to do it before next week. Yeah, probably. We'll probably have, we'll probably like, do it like weekend. Yeah. Let's this weekend or Monday at the very latest. Yeah, it'll probably be Monday. I don't know what well, we're the, the All NBA team doesn't just drop right away. Well, they 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 get submitted on Sunday though. They're voting for it like this week, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. We'll get to it early next week. But before we do that, we got to get to these super chats. So let's do it. My man Ace Walk said, Happy G Day, Mars. More life. Why can't people just say birthday? What the hell's G Day? Hey, on, what does GG's on, mean? Bro. Good game. Come on, bro. 
But I, uh, people can't say birthday. Oh uh, shit! It's it's a <laughs> part of the African American colloquialism, my brother. We just we communicate to each other differently here. Uh, too too masculine to just say happy birthday. Too masculine? No, it's just an it's the same way people same way people can't say it's the same way people can't just say goodbye. It's, like it's, like 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 it's the same way people can't just say goodbye. They have to do whole new phrases to just say peace out. I'll see you later. goodbye. Like it's just impossible to say. I'm like, first of first and foremost, goodbye is forever. That's number one. That's why you can't say goodbye. Because goodbye. They want to say thing. hello. They want to have new phrases for hello. Just say happy. What, what do you say? We say what's up. We say what's what's happening. Like what? What's the G? Like, what, 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 what is what's the G sound for? I don't understand what the problem with with saying an alternate way of saying hello. I love you, like my man. It's like when you pull up on somebody, my man. It's, it's like a hello. They like can never say the actual way. I mean, I think people do. I just think black people have learned how to okay, say well, things a little bit from from an English perspective. They don't. I don't remember the last time. I don't remember the last time I heard someone say "Happy Birthday." Don't remember the last time. G day, Mars. E day, Happy Birthday, Mars. day, more life. I say, I say Happy Birthday. birthday. I, 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 I say Happy Birthday. If it's your birthday, I say happy birthday. Gangster, gun or gangster? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah Mars, happy birthday. gangster day. No. <laughs> but what if you're not a gangster? Though? No, do I look like a gangster? I will die in these streets. American slang is English to begin with. Your Mars life. made it clear. Mars is not one of them dudes. So don't put Mars. It, in it, the it makes no <laughs> sense. Just, just say happy birthday. Like I don't get why it's so difficult. I'm Mars, my thing is, Mars. So you don't, you don't, you don't ever get bored with saying hello and bye. It's, it's hello. like, it's like us coming no, up here every day and having mind. the same LeBron. No, I'm not saying oh, you have to day. say hello and goodbye. Like you can say whatever you want. I just find yeah. it funny that it's never hello that you want to say. It's never you, happy birthday. Well, but Mars, you realize like even like somebody, somebody brought up like you know we don't like if you depend on what community you're from. Like if you're from Park Hill in Denver, you're from the East Side in Denver. Like happy C day, happy B day. People say never they replace the seeds with the bees, like with affiliation and all that stuff. That's just a part of like linguistics. It's its own terminology. We just yeah, we, built the, the we built the language from the language. We you know, and then if we if you remember Mars, which you might not, we built the language from the language to codify our own language within the culture that subverted our culture and built another culture on top of it. That's what happened. That's why we say what we say and do what we do. Because we stay, we stay didn't want, originate the English yeah, happy, language. Happy yeah, yeah, my fault. We didn't originate the English language, chill. We didn't want that language. That was not our language. That was the king's language. Huh? Huh? We here, we we here to talk the way we want to communicate to each other. Huh? We repurposed the word and used it as a sign of affection. You know what the word is. I'm not gonna say it online. Well, you're very familiar. You're well, very familiar. Well, you're very familiar. Ha 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 ha. Get him. <laughs> What's up, Ron? What's up, Ron? Happy, happy born day, Mars. day. Yes, Mars. The like, day you anything, were born. If someone say a happy born day, like at what point are you just reaching to not say birthday? Like, are we serious? Born day? Born day. The day you were born, Mars. Like, no, Mars. Some, some, like, some people happy want to be day. different too, Mars. Some, some, some people just want to be different too, Mars. That's what I'm saying. Like, why, why? Just say happy birthday. What's happy birthday, that? Mars. Scumbag. Thank you. Because we do, we do, we do have some people out here using vernacular, using language that they have know nothing about. And if they were using that type of talk in certain places, they would, they would, something bad might happen to them. But they don't even know. They just picking up on stuff they hear in rap music and things on TV. So if you're not hip to what you're saying, sometimes you should probably just speak properly and you know what I'm saying, move, move like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Fuck that chat. Talk your shit. On to the next. Alan L sent through a super chat and said, Happy birthday to my guy, Mars. Thank you. There you go. And then he said, L Ox, L Dub, and Luca is the MVP. Alan got an ass whooping coming from Ox. I just want to put that out there. He got an ass whooping coming from Ox. So you better watch out. <laughs> Ooh, I swear to God, when I catch up with Alan here, Alan, Alan. he got an ass whooping coming from Ox. Just so you know, Alan. Mm. Yo, chill. Would it be funny if so I push on my Allen on, on, on Allen and he beat me up? <laughs> yeah, that would be even funnier. Yeah. <laughs> Allen, don't put me on War Star, bro. Poppy Solo said, "Is Swapper the new Hesney? Swapper's he." What's that mean? Swapper? <laughs> he meant to be, I, don't, I don't know if that was on purpose. <laughs> I don't think I was he meant to say it's Swiper the new Hesley. Hey, if you know, Who's you Hesley? know. Shout out Euro and Hesley, Euro, man. Euro, Hesley, you, man. You, you he, had to during the glory he was days, part of the, He's part of the woke culture, like you. The woke? Uh, uh, 
Yeah. You very swapper. Weird. That's interesting. Swapper. That's a that's a that's a might be a little t shirt. I was the bonus winning the poll against Joe Kim Noah. You guys don't know who Joe Kim Noah was. Mm. Whatever. Cultured Saunders said King's gonna lose again tonight. Laughing emoji. Who did I play? It's another that's another game I'm gonna be watching. Hey, I know what. Nah, That's chill. I'm just, you know, chill. I'm, I'll be in the gym. I'm in the gym. I, I can't, you know, shit, I can't, I can't watch it. If it you're working. I, can, I, I can dig it. Yeah, you yeah, work. I'll be there. You know, I'm, you know, I'm in the lab. The Kings got the Suns tonight, and it's a bunch of good ass games tonight. But we will get into that. But it's, it's a good slate of games tonight. Every NBA team's playing tonight. It's 15 games tonight, and also on Sunday, every NBA team's playing as well. Uh, it, will, it will be 15 games, and we will dive into that in a second. But. I got to get to these super chats first, and then we're going to get to the title of the show because it's been a good season. I want to recap and talk about everything that's happened so far this season. But Luke Bacon said, Luka MVP, most injured team out of all playoff teams. This is my thing, though. This is my thing. So when you when people when people keep saying that, they talk about, oh, he had the most injured team. It's like, but who was hurt? You know what I mean? So, like. If, Kyrie if, I, if, I, if, I, if I if I if I play if I play with the if I play with like and this is just I obviously random I don't know the numbers but let's say if I play for the Heat if I'm Jimmy Butler and I play all 82 games but Bam misses 50 games well that's 50 games without Bam if I'm Luca and the White Cow misses every single game so what. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's it's about who was hurt and when were they hurt. You know what I mean? Like let's put things in the context. They've missed a bunch of starters. It's not like Dwight Powell. Kyrie yeah, but missed. which starters? Kyrie, I know. I know. Kyrie, Kyrie, like, Kyrie missed substantial time. Um, Josh Green has missed um quite a bit of Josh time. Green. Um, Derek Lively has missed some time. He's missing time right now. Maxi Kleber has missed time. Dante <coughs> has missed time. There's probably there might be some other people I'm forgetting, but those are like the main ones who have missed time. And Luka then obviously, Dodgers has missed and also time. Want, also want to say this: and and all, star, all starters, all starters are not created equal. You know what I'm saying? All starters are not created equal. Let's put that out there too. How many? Games oh yeah, I got it right. Lively, Josh Lively. Green, Exum, Kleber, Kyrie. The, 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 those Exum. people don't. How many games Luca missed? Nine. I think it's nine. He's played seven, so ten. ten. He's missed ten games. Yeah, mm-hmm. ten. Okay. Once again, yeah, I'm just hating. I'm just once again, I'm just hating on Luca, y'all. So can, can, can we can we can we can we can we say the same thing about Jalen Brunson? Like the guys that he has had out the lineup. Can we say we the could. same thing? About, yeah, we, we could. Say, can we, we say could. the same thing about Kevin Durant and the guys you that he's had out the lineup? Kevin Durant. You can right. say the same thing about LeBron James. That's not fair. That's not fair. We can't do that. We can't do that because then then we're hating on Luca. Don't. I mean, I think it's valid to bring up the Knicks injuries this year. I think that's right. Absolutely. The Suns injuries. I think that's valid. Hey. What somebody said, Swiper don't ox is like a grown up Jefferson Tills from Hardball. The Yo, fat boy? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That don't even that's make sense. crazy. <laughs> Wasn't that that's the light skinned fat boy, right? From from Hardball? But why would you bring up Hardball? That's like one of the saddest movies I've ever seen, bro. I hate that, that movie, man. I hate that movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. Go back. Go back to what you just had up there. Bro. Cam Thomas. He had more thirty point games <laughs> than Jalen Green this year. You want to read that, chill from Big Fan Breezy? Are you Are you a Cam Thomas guy? I am not. But oh. I mean, I, actually, I, actually, I am. That's not true. Yes, 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 I am. I'm not just. I'm not as high on him as 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 other people like that remain to be quiet about. But uh, <laughs> um, next season recap. I was right about Cam Thomas at the two chill hashtag respectfully. He scored 30 more times than Jalen Green did this season, Mars. Hashtag respectfully. Now, yeah, I, mm-hmm. I was, I was, I was, I had said last season that I felt like he was wasting away on their bench. I, I felt like Cam Thomas needed to be somewhere else where he should be playing significantly more minutes because he's a bucket getter. And I felt like he was wasting away on that bench under uh, Jacques Vaughn. And the fact that you know, Jacques Vaughn is now gone, and Kevin Ali is actually giving him more minutes, and he's playing more. I think that's good for him. I I've liked what I've seen from Cam Thomas in the limited time I've watched the Nets in recent time with Kevin Ali. His playmaking looks like it's got a lot better. Mm. So, 
now defensively i think there's a lot missing but i like his decision making with the ball in his hands so i mean maybe that's his path to more minutes i think he's probably gonna if he wants to play a substantial amount of time in the league he's probably gonna have to play the one slash combo guard it, i don't think he can just be a pure two so the playmaker oh, can't we just can't, can't we just accept that there's guys that are just specialists like for example maybe cam thomas is just a bucket getter and that's it that's yeah, but is. yeah, he can. But I think there's a ceiling on small guards who can only score in terms of what they can, what they contribute at the yeah. NBA level. Now he can score, but if he wants, if he wants, and I don't know what he wants, but if he wants to be more than a sixth man or more than a starter on a bad team, you have to yeah. develop the other areas of his game. That's just what the NBA calls for at this point. So I like the fact that he's improving as a decision maker and as a playmaker, and you can trust him with the ball in his hands more. That's that's signs that he can be more and that's why i like what i've seen from cam thomas recently moving along in the super chats uh smn r and dm said wagwan mars wanted to say birthday blessings to you for whenever it is birthday blessings happy birthday thank Mars. You. thank you um alfred griffin said hey mars happy physical anniversary lol <laughs> Thank you. Just made one more trip around the sun, man. One more trip around the sun. Mm -hmm. It's Mr. GQ to you, say, has been a member for 12 months. Shout out to him. He also said, yo, Swiper, doesn't Ox look like a grown-up Jefferson Tibbs from Hardball? Anyway, happy day of birth, Mars. Thank uh, you. Why would we now and again, y'all? I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm lightweight sad for real. Y'all really brought Hardball up, man. I, I and by the way, really? and by the way, to you, it's it's Mr. GQ to you. Yo, I'm so glad that Ronnie got killed the way he did. I would have seen, I would have liked to have seen him suffer a little bit more, but I'm glad that he got killed. What are you talking about? What, what, his, uh, what his, uh, his avatar is uh, Ronnie from Power, the Raising oh. Canaan. And uh, oh. I would have liked to have seen him suffer more because he was a little bit more of a menace. I don't like to see bad guys go out quick. I don't like that. No. I want to see what them do. a spoiler, man. I was gonna yeah. watch. Now I know whoever this random person is is gonna die. Now I can't Sorry, watch it. Sorry, oh, man. Sorry. Show you a Game of Thrones fan? I am not. I'm sorry, sir. I don't, what you be watching? You be watching like uh, like Good Times, Cosby Show? Actually, no. Um, I'm a, I'm a power. I'm 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 on the Power Universe. Um, not just the Power Universe. Uh, basketball. Um. What else do I watch? I'm a huge documentary guy. I don't I don't, I don't really watch a lot of uh, TV shows. I'm, I'm I'm very I like to learn about people and, and what their struggles are. You know what made them. So um, I'm big time into documentaries. So that's the kind of stuff I'm into. Yeah, shout out. Somebody said, "Do you watch?" Uh, somebody said, "Do you watch Golden Girls?" I used to watch Golden. Okay, real quick. When I was in college, I was scheduling my classes around all my children. Like I couldn't have class at one o'clock because of all my children. Yeah, I, 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 it, it, it was really that serious. And then to compound that, I actually met Erica Kane and I almost passed out. For real? Mm. Yes, I did. Oh, that's fire. Yes, I did. And I, I told her I was, I told her I was scheduling my classes around when I was in college, around, uh, and she told me that professors were also. So it wasn't surprising. Mm -hmm. Shit, if you know, you know. <laughs> Keep it pushing, y'all. I've got a few more super chats. Drink more water said, Why isn't Bobby Portis getting any love in the six men of the year race? I'm not saying he should win, but in my opinion, he's better than Nas Reed. Look at the numbers. Has he been? Hmm. That's interesting. Offensively, he's offensively, he I mean, scoring wise, he's good. You ask him to guard anything, he's cooked, but well, I mean, no, Why is he they don't. They don't care about defense, so I mean, I guess. <laughs> no, they don't, because Lou Williams and Jamal Crawford won yeah, it. So uh, I guess, yeah. Six man year, right. yeah, Bobby Poyers, I guess, should have more of a horse in the race based on that. Uh, I don't Mars, I don't... Maybe, I'm, maybe I'm missing something, because defensively, he's not as bad as you think he is, Mars. Have you seen him try to play drop coverage? That's the issue. And that's, and, 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 and I, that's, I ain't going to lie about that, Mars. That is the issue. And that's the issue with all of them, because they switch all the time. That's the problem. So we get Brooke Lopez switching with Damian Little. We get Michael. We get uh, Malik Beasley switching with 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 Bobby Portis. So then 
they start playing drop coverage on whoever they're uh, it, it, it's a mess over there in, in, in Milwaukee. That's why I'm not on the fence about it. They're fools go 100 percent 100 percent King Stag said if Brunson was a top 10 pick and went to Duke, there would be a lot less hesitation to call him better than these guys. Let's kill it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop right there, King Stags, because I'm not trying to hear that. Number one, not only, not only did he go to a blue blood school in Villanova, one, they won a national championship. And I don't know if you know this, but you know who the national player of the year was? The year he came out of school? It was him. He was the best player in the country. So let's kill it because he didn't go to Duke logic. No, we're not doing that. He was a second round pick, which seems made a mistake on clearly. So let's kill it. He won two national championships, too. By the way, he's the best point guard in the country. The best, numero uno. G.I. Bam said two more middies from Zion last night. It's the happening. And Brandon Ingram's back from the last game of the season. He's playing against, he's playing on Sunday. So Mm -hmm. the Pelicans are somewhat whole going into the playoffs. Very catch returning tonight. Maybe this uh, the, the, Timber, the, Timber the, the Hawks. Oh. Nice. Mm. The playoffs are looking interesting. KG Sand said, Chilla Jalen Brunson hater. What's new? Because he's a Knicks fan. So if I don't think Jalen Brunson the best point guard in the NBA, he's the league MVP. I hate him. Good. Stop hating. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Chilla, you know. You... Go ahead. Chilta, you know about the Big Valley? The Big Valley, I don't. Sorry. Uh, it used to it used to come on right before uh right before gun smoke. The flame said, gonna be at the chase center tonight. Wearing the bronze jersey, Damo style. L Swiper. L L Avatar too, by the way. Yeah, L Swiper because they don't like uh they don't like the fact that Curry's gonna get cleared in two years by a Serbian. So that's what this is about. Is he, what that's about. Where, where we are with Swiper, where we are with Steph Curry now, how much longer can he play at this level? How many more years you think? Three? Four? I don't think, think he's he going to. You think he can he, play four He's going to be years hurt. Years. He's going to be hurt off and on, but yeah, he will always be a good player. I mean, if the, fall, if the fall off post All Star break is who he really is now, and he just had the Chris Paul thing where he just fell off a cliff, he's already fell off. Like what's what, what's realistic? Because again, I'm thinking about a guy who, in three years, he's gonna be 39. You think he's still gonna be able to do what he's doing today, three years from now? Because he's not gonna be 36 in three years. So he's not gonna move the way he did three years ago. See, he'll still be a 20 30. points per game score. He just won't be like the same. Like I think he'll still that's be playing. Though. That's that's what I, that's what I mean. So like, because when I when I think about it, we, we're talking about Steph Curry, one top five point guard. Is Steph Curry still a top? I mean, he's arguably a top five player. He's definitely still a top ten player. And how many more years is he at this level? I think it's uh, another second team all NBA. Another, yeah, two? second team all second team all NBA. Two? I think it's another year, two tops. Yeah, small guards. It happens. Uh D Barber three. D Barber 13 13 said, Hope Ox keeps the same energy for the Kings when they miss the playoffs. That he had for the Mavs last season. Kings right back to the L dungeon where they belong. Damn, the L dungeon in Sac. Well, what um, you know, the dungeon in Sacramento is actually at Sacramento High School. It's a small gym, not the old tub pavilion. It's a small gym. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be a savage to make it in there. You wouldn't know. But what well, I mean, what what energy did I have for um the, the Mavs? I would say saying that Luca couldn't be first team all NBA. I said they were weak. If we don't make the playoffs this year, I'm going to say we were weak. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to openly be up here talking bad about the Kings. If I get asked a question, I'm going to keep it real, though. I'm, Ox, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought that 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 uh the dungeon up because I think mm-hmm. those places are in a lot of different places. So, are you telling me that you have a place? Because in Jersey City, it was called White Eagle Hall. Like we weren't afraid to go nowhere, but mm-hmm. that place you have to ask yourself. Are you sure you want to go in there? Mm-hmm. Are you uh, sure yeah. you want to go in there? I ain't saying yes. that we scared to go in there. It's just, are you sure you want to go in there? Because mm-hmm. it's serious. Nah, you, you don't want to. You don't want to go in there in the summertime. We don't got no AC in Sacramento. It's, it's triple digits in the summertime. So yeah. that gym, that gym is a good one, one ten, one fifteen. You yeah. can't, you can't. <clears throat> it's, it's it's invitation only. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't just walk yeah. up in here. Yeah. You know, so it's it's all good though. Uh, yeah. 
RJ the God with the pretty solid super chat. He said, what would have changed basketball more today as we know it? The Cavs going back to back in 2015 and 2016 or the Warriors doing the same thing. What changes? KD doesn't go to the Warriors if they win back to back. So that's yeah, we the had a, the NBA was ruined for three straight years where there was no no parody. How come no when I said that, Swiper, I'm a, I'm a hater. When I said that, KD do a monkey wrench and everything. I'm a hater when I said that. Well, Steph well, did too. They all did. Give me a break. Steph's legacy got changed. KD's legacy got changed. The NBA's legacy got changed. LeBron, think about it. Think of all the things that got destroyed. The Kawhi Leonard Spurs team might have went to the championship and won a championship. That what was that 16, 17 when they won 67 games? 16, 15, 16, well, 15, 16, 15, 16, 16, 16 and then yeah. they won six, whatever they won. The next they, year, won right? they were great the next year, too. Right. right. So they could have won a championship, but they didn't run into that. And then KD's legacy, I think he, if I don't know if he went, I, I genuinely don't know if he won a championship or not. Mm -hmm. Um, At this point, I don't think he would have, but I think that Steph, they would have won one more, maybe, but that whole four, Pete, that four championship for Steph wouldn't have been there. I don't think, I don't think they got past San Antonio consistently. I think the Kawhi conversation is different all time. If Kawhi led that Spurs team, we'd be having conversations. With Kawhi literally top 25, top 20 player ever. I think if he would have had one of those kind of runs in him when he was fully healthy, when he was young, DPOY, 25 points a game, crazy efficiency. Um, I think that the, the LeBron legacy would be different. I think LeBron would have at least one more championship at his apex. He would have five championships and went through Curry again or went through Kawhi in them again. I think that all would have changed. I think James Harden, 2018, 19, going, they would have went. Chris Paul, but again, he goes down, doesn't get healthy. He might have won a ring that year. Everything. Eat it, Ron. Eat it, Ron. Every <laughs> single thing. Hey, you know, three you know, years. You know I'm not trying to hear. You hey, so I'm not looking at you on everything that, except for the Rockets. He did what he did. You don't think 2018, 19, they would have had a – They could have finished the job. It was what he did. You want monkey all of it. I'm going to tell you why they don't handle business. Because if KD stays in Oklahoma City, they don't beat Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. I'm sorry, they do. That team, that they, year, they would have. They and they, yeah, they they just don't beat that. <coughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put it simple as that. I don't think don't forget don't forget that. about the Pelicans too. Pelicans weren't beating anybody. They weren't beating. I don't anybody. think that Warriors team stays together. I don't. I don't think they stay together. I think I, I think they end up getting blown up. And I, and I think we don't have to entertain these years long of conversations from some people like, oh, is Steph Curry on the same plane as Kawhi as uh, LeBron James? He beat him in the finals. Like, look, like the nobody cares about that. Like everybody knows what happened. Everybody remembers. Yes. Everybody remembers LeBron was the best player in those runs. He just had no help, injuries, or you had an overpowered team. If that era doesn't exist, we don't have a back to back champion in the NBA since the Miami Heat. We don't have like these crazy super teams. You can't even bring up those championships in their well, all-time so discussions for real. Remember, the super chat says if either of those teams go back to back. Maybe it the said, maybe Cavs. If, if the maybe Cavs, Cavs go back to back, or LeBron, if the uh, or if the Warriors go back to back. If LeBron, changes? if LeBron, if LeBron, if he has, if LeBron goes back to back versus that Warriors team, he's in, he's in a, he's further up the goat conversation than than he is now. Easy. I think Steph is the more legitimized if he goes back to back too. If he doesn't have Katie. Well, I mean, we got we got some people that already have Steph at three all time. So oh, at who? Yeah. At who? Oh, uh, sorry, you missed. It. We, we, no, we, no, 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 that's well, Harrison cool. Barnes could have held it down, Chilton. No, he couldn't. Right, right, Mark? I, I want you guys to really yeah, remember yeah, how good that's that Warriors really team cool. was mm -hmm. before before KD. That Warriors <laughs> team was still seventy three and nine. Biggest choke job. That, in NBA that NBA. Warriors team still had it without Biggest KD. Choke job in NBA history. And you're right, but without KD, if that team still stays intact. They still have action those next two years. That Kawhi Leonard team isn't the next three losing years. to them the next year, though, is what I'm telling you. That team, ah, no. they were they were monsters. Monster. I mean, Ron, you remember everybody, even going into the series. Remember, they were. I know they were. It was a, it was a third quarter in first game. I get that, but they were like dismantling. They were up twenty. Swipe up. Dismantling. They were them. up twenty. 
They're a machine. They, they look like they and again, uh chill, they look like the 2013-14 Spurs. Everybody chill, he, ain't, he didn't just roll his ankle, chill. We right. know what happened. He didn't just roll his ankles. And that's with KD on the roster, by the way. That's with KD on the roster. That wasn't that wasn't just that that what that wasn't just that Warriors team. That's with KD on the roster. So take KD off that I, roster. I hear what y'all saying. And everything. I, I hear what y'all saying. Even without KD on that team. It's still not a foregone conclusion that the Spurs win that series. And if they do, I think that's the point, they're not, though. They're not, they're not steamrolling them. That series goes to seven. But I still got the Warriors. And I and I think step if KD doesn't go there, they, they beat LeBron. Do you think they beat LeBron, Ron? Did they, they beat that that version of LeBron? Steph still it over that whole course of time, Steph still gets a ring. I think whoa, 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 14, 15, fine. I'm saying, does he beat LeBron in 2016, 17, and 17, 18? I think they, Ma Ma Maz and I have had this conversation more than once, more than twice. I think they smoked them in the finals. I don't think they, the them. I think they smoked them. The Cavs? If they, if they get back, if, if, if Warriors get back to the finals after what they did in 16, 17, I think the Cavs smoked them in the finals the next year. Man, and now I we got to blow this thing up. Now we got to blow know. this thing up. This thing ain't what it was. I, I don't know. Y'all hey, forget how bad the Warriors know. was. Y'all forget how. Yo, still, they still had the most fluid offense. That's still when Klay Thompson was Klay Thompson. Andre Igg was still Andre Igg at that time. Like, they, What does that have to do with LeBron James with the healthy Cleveland Cavaliers roster? Do you, do you remember what they were doing to the Eastern Conference? Like, even LeBron, if he didn't get overpowered in that game one, and think about it, if he didn't have to deal with an overpowered Golden State in that game one, think about it, if it was a regular Golden State team from the 15 and 16 year, that over, the overtime doesn't happen. The team that was exist. up 3 1 on them. The team that was up 3 1 on them. What do you mean up 3 1? Oh, that, that wasn't that team. That, that, they had KD on that team in 18. Yeah, there was a different team. No, I'm talking about the year before that. The 2016 Warriors that were up 31. That's what he's talking about. That's the team that runs it right back. Okay, great. And then what happened? They got smoked out. Why? Because the yes. guard, because the guard, they, they, the Warriors got worse. They got worse. Steph didn't, didn't. By the way, I'm not trying to blame Steph because I don't want this to turn into a games five through seven. <laughs> I, I, my thing is, I hear everything you guys are saying. I hear what you're even saying with the Rockets. I hear what you're saying with uh, the Spurs. I hear what you're saying with the Cavs. I still think you guys are downplaying how good Boss, what is, what is, 73 what is, and 9 Golden State Warriors were. And if they bring it back the next year, they don't just all of a sudden go from a 73 and 9 team to a, a, a 48 win team. No, it's still that Boss, same what, roster. What do, what do the Warriors do? Do, do? do they just run it back in, in your estimation? And you and I have had this conversation, but I just want you to refresh my memory. So they, they lose that next year and they don't get KD. What do you think that they do to upgrade that roster? They use their max slot to sign another wing. I don't know who's available in 2016. Mm -hmm. I can't go back in time. I don't remember. Whatever wing's available, they go and get them. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's the plan. They, they, they're they still trying to make the roster better. They have a you max think they, they would have resigned Harrison in 2016 to, on July 4th? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> They have, a max con they have a max contract, so they're gonna try and they're gonna let's take that as a no. Now, I will say that's the luckiest, the lucky, the best, the best injury and luckiest injury in the history of the sport. Maybe in I can't do the NFL because there's definitely one in there somewhere, but in the worst, the luckiest injury in the history of basketball is Steph Curry's ankle injury when he signed that four year, $44 oh, million dollar so deal. Got him on the cheap, they got that him was on. so. Insane, team. and then just happens to open up when the NBA is like, "Oh, here's an additional twenty million dollars in your salary cap because of the TV spike." And then it's like, "Oh snap, Kevin Durant!" And remember, the day before it was like speculation, but we thought it was ludicrous on by July third, ludicrous that he would just leave Russ like that. And then out of nowhere, we got the ESPN update: Kevin Durant is signing with the Golden State Warriors, and everybody, everybody from there. Duncan, uh, David Robinson too, but Dun that right there, it was over. It was over. It was over. It was cooked. Couldn't believe it. it was, I was excited as a basketball fan. I wanted to see it, but they, th that first game, that first game they played on the court, Mars. I don't know how old you were at that point in time. It was, it was cinema, cinema, cinema. Got, and, and 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 if I'm not mistaken, they got smoked on opening night by the San Antonio Spurs. The Jonathan, the Jonathan Simmons game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got smoked. It was also a good role player. I used to like Jonathan Simmons. Then he went to Orlando, and I haven't heard of him since. But the Jonathan Simmons game that they signed him. It was Philly. It was it was Philly. It was Philly that messed him up. Uh, Brent Brown. Mm. Philly that did him dirty. All I know is 
if we get a back to back, this is gonna be the most legitimate back to back we've seen since the the Lakers. Maybe not even the Lakers. I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe the Bulls. I don't know. I have no idea. Probably the no, Bulls. It's it's hard to know how much changes because the Cavs ended up building out their roster and ended up going all offense to try and outgun the Warriors. I kind of like time. I kind of like what they did though with the George Hill. Uh, it was George Hill, Jr. Iman, Ch- Channing Fry. Uh, who else was on that roster? Uh, Tristan Thompson, um, Kyle Korver. They had a bunch of wings and just LeBron just kind of running the show. I love. I actually really like how they played. But so they ended up. That was like the best offensive team they had. But their defense mm-hmm. was terrible. terrible. But the reason their defense was terrible is because they were trying. They built their roster to go all offense. Do they still do that? If KD doesn't go. I don't know. The, right. the Warriors built their team to, to stop right. the Warriors. That was their plan too. If KD doesn't go there, do they go get Chris Paul? I don't know. So you, like, so there's a bunch of things the, that just would change. What do you think this the better version of LeBron was? Was it that 2018 or the 2020 LeBron? Like, which one do you think was the more perfect player? 2020 was better just because of like here it was just like he was just completely locked like there was no and he, and he was a positive defender i think 2018 Mars, imagine take 2020 davis give him 2018 james we really have some basketball we've had some we have had oh some basketball goodness. in the last 15 years man i really just i really hope people one day just sit down and like enjoy just appreciate not just coming into this era but like we had the we had the the okc thunder with pardon Russell Russell getting 40 in the finals and Durant. And then we had the Miami Heat. And then out of nowhere, we had the Golden State Warriors and the Spurs obviously were in there. Like, and then we went into the LeBron whole eight year run through the finals. And then we had Harden in them, what's going crazy. Then we went into Giannis. And then we went into like this whole Jokic thing. Like, basketball has been nuts, nuts the last 15 years. Kobe. All right, so- I got to take this time to tell you guys to like the video and shout out all of our new members right now. We got a couple new members on the show. Maul C. Go Crazy became a YouTube member. Trey became a YouTube member. Sleazy TV or Sleazy Tie became a new member. Shout out to Sleazy Tie and Alvin Poku became a new member today too. Shout out all the new members. If you haven't become a new member, Go ahead and slap that button. You could chat for $1.99 or you could be a new member and get all of our good content that you would have to get behind the paywall. When you become a new member, you have access to all these new shows starting on April 15th, live on playback. You got PC football, Open Gym, NBA X, Chill with Chill and From the Logo. All of these shows will be available for you when you become a member at the top tier. Also, I got to shout out our new Player's Choice merch. If you want to become an ex-casual and stop being the current casual that you are, scan this QR code and get this good merch that Chill has on right here. It's the QR code right there. You see it. Grab your merch right now. Waste no time. Delay no longer. Um, All right, fellas. It's about that time to get into the title of the show. The best moments of the season that you guys can remember. Best Talk to me, fellas. What 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 have been the highlights of this season so far? It could be a play, it could be a game, it could be a performance, it could be a shacked and a fool moment, it could be anything. What stands out to you guys from the season? Chat, talk to me too, man. I, I need to I need to hear some good moments from everybody, man. Hey, it's it's been a crazy season, 2023-24. What was the dopest parts of the season so far? The Rockets yeah. having the longest win streak in the NBA. I was about to say the Cavs, actually. The Cavs won 16. I think they won 16 out of 17. They had, they had won 16 straight. And um, sure, it was a favorable schedule. But had some guys back healthy and they got back rolling. Um, they started looking like a really good playoff team. I was really digging that. And what I was saying about Donovan Mitchell, how good I thought he was, that was one of the highlights of the season for me. 100% it was. That was definitely United said Ants dunk on John Collins. That, that was, was one pretty, of them. Yeah, that was dope. Um, what about Luca? Didn't, didn't Luca go for like seventy something this season? Yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> Wait, how long? How long a distance between? We had uh, Embiid seventy. We had Luca seventy three. Like what, three weeks later, and then we had Cat sixty two within like a. What, it was it was within five days. It was within yeah, five it was like days. a week. Was it? Uh, Cat, yeah, sixty two was all on the games? same night. The, as the, the I'm pretty sure the <laughs> Luca seventy three point game was on this the anniversary yeah, it was the same of his death. I'm pretty yes. sure the same day as Cat. 
and Embiid had 70 like five days earlier against the Spurs on like the 21st. Nah, Cat Cat and Joel was on the same day. Okay, my fault. One of the, like some, some right. one of it was on like the anniversary of Kobe's death. I think it, uh, something. I can't yeah, it was it was the anniversary of when he scored 81. Yeah. yeah. Imagine going off a, uh, imagine going off a 62 and getting outclassed. And getting losing to the Charlotte Hornets. Well, yeah. remember because Cat 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 started uh just bucket hunting. And then it just they ended up losing and we ended up shaving right. him the next day on the show. Y'all ended up losing your oh, mind. They lost, the, they lost to Charlotte. Oh my god, they can't. Uh, that was a game. terrible last six it minutes was. out of cat. That was how the Bucks lost to Charlotte. He ended up benching him. I I didn't score 62 and get benched in the clutch. No. I, I see that. I'm just saying. Yeah, it like, oh my god, they, they're not ready. They're not prepared. Mike Conley wasn't even there. They didn't even have their babysitter. It was just a bunch of kids out there trying to trying to show out. That's what that was. <laughs> they babysitter. <laughs> Other moments, though, fellas, talk to me. M Mars, Ot, Swiper. What can you guys remember? Man, don't say my name, Ryan. Don't say the, my I'm name. The, the only good part about the season was our 11 game win streak. Everything else was trash. <laughs> I don't care about the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Mar the I'm longest Mars. win streak in the season is the Boston Celtics and the Houston Rockets. That's the only pride I got from the season. Where does this where, where does this season rank amongst all time seasons? Is this season better bottom than ten? Bottom ten. This shit weak as hell, yeah. chill town. I'm tired. This of, is we I have, ain't been I ain't been happy since Asia Wilson since Asia Wilson won the championship. You've been happy yeah. since. What you mean? What what's wrong? What was was? Oh, you were saying you were happy when she won, right? Weak ass season. So I ain't, I ain't Why is it weak? Since. There's two. I mean, the season Don't do this. this Don't is, this do, not, do not fall into this. Yes, it, it really oh, is. Okay. You know why this season's weak. Hey, but look at this. We have there are ten teams dropping forty five and one There are ten teams in the Western Conference with forty five wins. Ten of them. Ten, and the Rockets are going to get forty. Mm -hmm. I see you guys winning one of those two games, Mars. We play Portland tonight. If we lose, yeah. uh, y'all should beat Portland. Y'all should definitely gonna be beat Portland. Utah last night, but none of us wanted to play basketball. Do you so. realize the Golden State Warriors basically have the exact same record as the seventh seed Philadelphia 76ers, who are the seventh seed? And then if you go in the Western Conference, you have currently there are how many teams would be the first seed in the, in the there would be five teams that would be the six at least the two seed in the Eastern Conference in the West? That is asinine to me. The Nuggets, Minnesota, Oklahoma City, the Clippers, Dallas. Dallas yeah. All five. And New Orleans is a game behind Milwaukee. Yeah, 48 and 32. Yes. New Orleans is a game behind Milwaukee. So did you have the Pelicans winning 50 games this year? I had them as a playing team. I had them in Dallas as a playing team, specifically because of what you just talked about. I didn't. I did not not think that the Pelicans would be a bad team. Just like I didn't think Dallas would be a bad team. I just thought the Western Conference was stacked, and I thought that you know you could be an eight seed with forty five wins. That could happen, and you could possibly miss the playoffs with forty six wins. That's how I. That's how I looked at this season. It wasn't because I thought the Pelicans weren't very good. I thought they were going to be good this year. I thought Dallas was going to be good. I thought Memphis would have been a lot better than what they were. I thought the Warriors would be at. I thought the Warriors would be at the top of the Western Conference. I was wrong on that, one hundred percent. I thought the Lakers would be at the top of the Western Conference. I was wrong on that. I didn't think that Oklahoma City would be as high as they were. I thought Oklahoma City was a legit playoff team this year, but I didn't think that they'd be fighting for the number one seed in the Western Conference. I did not think that they were that good, even though Chet basically unlocked a lot of what's going on in in. in in Oklahoma City, which I said to Mars a couple of maybe a week ago, that are they biting our style, Mars? Is, is that what's going on? Are, 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 are they biting our style? I just want to know because I'm pretty sure that I've heard things on other podcasts, and I'm like, I heard that before, and I heard it from somebody else. So it sounds to me like NBA guys aren't the only ones who know basketball. So, fellas, y'all you know <laughs> not giving me moments. So, I'm going to just read these moments in the chat. Chat, I'm going to talk to y'all. And then y'all comment on some of these moments. So, uh, Panzu said, Jokic scoring his buzzer, buzzer, buzzer beating shot three on the Warriors. Any Nuggets versus LA? Yeah, Brack, because he's the, he might not be the MVP of the league, but he's the MVP for your team. Take Chet off your team. Y'all back at the bottom of the Western Conference. How about that? DSG Piccolo said, Shaden and Tumani dunking on Walker Kessler in back-to-back -back possessions. Mm -hmm. Toast the Goat just said, Ant-Man dunks. And he got like four or five of them. Yeah, just year. any of them. Pick one. Pick one. But now, that, 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 that dunk over John Collins, is that crazy? Oh, my gosh. Crazy. 
Was oh that, my. Now, was that his, was, was that his best dunk of the year? What was the other one? <gasps> no. I think the block might be better. That block he had versus the oh, Panthers. Oh, yeah. yeah. The game yeah. with the block. Yeah. The game, sure. And yeah. then what? He had like 50 that game? 40 some. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I think he, he had 40. Mr. Free throw misses. ran down and erased it. Hit his head on the back. For the game. Game's over, by the way. That's right. the, that was for the game. Game's over. We're done. Big Juan said AD big game. We we know what big game he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one versus uh somebody without a, having a true big on the court. Oh man, I thought it was about the end season twenty. OKC, right? maybe. The the Wolves with no Rudy or Cat. That was a great game. And shout out the in season tournament too. That was mm -hmm. I thought that was dope. That was a good stretch mm -hmm. of basketball. They put the banner up. Oh, oh, oh! If they missed the oh, I know what I'm doing. I know if they missed the playoffs, show, I know what uh, I know what meme I'm going to be using. That in season tournament banner is going up. It's <laughs> going up. I can't wait to use it. Ox, how how Becky Hammond? How you felt about Jalen Brunson early in the year? As you know, mm -hmm. that's how that's how I felt about the in season tournament and. Mm -hmm. I saw the competition and I saw the games. I was like, all right, I'm in. I'm cool. Yeah. yeah. At first, I thought it was going to be week two, but that was, yeah. uh, they turned up for that. I, I liked it. Yeah. I liked the intensity. I'm in. I feel it. Max Drews, buzzer beater almighty. That was good. That was a great. Near, Near said, Luca 50 on Christmas. Remember this game? Against Phoenix? Mm. Uh, we talked about Luca 73. Mm -hmm. Big Don Rich, happy birthday, Big Don Rich. He said Halliburton, month of November. Yeah, the 27th all star from Holly on 67 true shooting. Swiper, you wasn't here. Swiper, you wasn't here during that time. But a certain somebody on the on the on the top right, boy, you if you would have heard the the, the, the propaganda. Ooh, it was good him, time, Swiper. Hey, that, was, that was a hell of a month of November, boy. You'd have heard, hey, you heard the propaganda from him. Oh my god. The second hey, Swiper was John Stockton and Top five point guard in the league. Oh wow! Hey, Swiper, yeah. I can't wait for them. To, them talks to start back up for the month of April and May. What? What, what for? Uh, you talking about for Halley? I don't think he's healthy, bro. You ain't getting that. Uh -huh. We'll see. He's, he's playing for that contract, he, and he's gonna get some all NBA votes too. Yeah, that Sleazy game. guy said said LeBron scoring twenty in the fourth against the Clippers. Y'all remember this? I do remember that. Yeah, the uh, I think the best. In person, the thing I experienced was that Celtics Nuggets game in Denver. That's probably the best environment I've ever been in in a regular season game for sure. That was crazy. James B said Harden for testing Kawhi in the corner. That was hilarious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was hilarious. No, Andre Drummond's one up to. <laughs> oh my God. He almost killed Tory Craig. Uh, so James. All right, swipe B's. All right, swipe. All right, swipe. Oh, y'all. So, oh, yeah. how awful was that? Andre Drummond's one, yeah. Andre Drummond's well, one. Well, I, I, in, in Andre Drummond's defense, I, I could see, I could see his mindset though. He, he probably thought he was throwing off the glass to him. Like that makes sense. It, it looked dumb. It looked, it looked crazy. But I understand what he was thinking of. Yeah. Music by P said Dejounte's buzzer beaters. Oh, that Steph buzzer beater against the Suns was nice. The, the Kyrie the game Suns. winner. The Suns, the one where he shot it from like. 30 feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. With the weak hand, by the way. The, no, that's Kyrie. Kyrie. You talk about that's Kyrie? Kyrie. Kyrie's against Denver was the offhand, yeah. That, that one, one might take the cake for me. For for best moment this season? Yeah. Killian was, Hayes getting weight. Oh, Get shit. Killian Hayes up the floor, Mars. Get Killian Hayes off the that's floor. Insane, Mars is nasty. Get Killian Sorry, Hayes friend. off the floor. Yeah, the worst player in the league, not being in the league anymore. Me having to find Johnny Davis. Oh man! Ridiculous. Well, I, I don't. I mean, we, we also don't forget Keegan Murray's performance too. Oh, when he went like thirteen for he was like twelve for thirteen from three at one point or whatever. Mm -hmm. How much did he finish with that game? Thirteen. I can't remember. Twelve. Something no, like I think he had like points. I think he had like 40, 47. No, oh, we don't care about points. We care about his threes. I think he ends with like thirteen or twelve. Mm -hmm. Something mid. Could have broke the record, but he's just not built like that. <laughs> well, Water said, "Y'all forget Giannis had sixty-four. We don't care about his sixty-four. Oh, what about that moment when when Giannis lost? And when he wanted the ball, yeah, when he wanted the ball. That's the bad moment. No one cares. Yeah. He had sixty-four. That was crazy. Yeah. Like, well, really, what I care about is Angoon giving Wemby forty-five. That's what I care about. <laughs> that was tough. Smoke Rich Big said 80, 40, and twenty-one in the championship. We spoke on that a little bit, but that was a what championship? It's, you know the, the championship season tournament. The season tournament. You know, you know. The Jalen Green insanity run. Well, that was a, that was a time. 
Logan Masaik said uh, Luca and Kai had the best moments this season. Have they? I, I see on the chat. Let's yeah, let's. I think the best moments was the uh, Pistons losing forty games straight. That was great too. That them beating in Toronto. Yeah. They was on it. They were on it. They they didn't lose forty games, but they was definitely or they they <laughs> the streak stopped at twenty eight. And Toronto threw a monkey wrench in that. Curse you, Toronto. They threw a monkey wrench in there. Curse you, Toronto. They definitely was on their way. It was on their way to losing 40 straight. They was definitely oh, on their way to losing 40 straight games that year. I mean, that at that time. No doubt. <laughs> and Toronto threw a monkey wrench in there. Oh, this duck. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Trace? Yeah. The Sangoon yeah. dunk over Wemby multiple times in the same game. Oh, as well, when they gave him 45. Don't forget, Jock caught Wemby too. Yeah, but his wasn't as good, and he didn't give him 45 like Sangoon did. Shout out Sangoon. Also, also the Kings sweeping the Lakers, you know, that's that was great too. <laughs> the Be Kings have a no answer for the Houston Rockets. So yeah, that was nice. Th that too, that too. That wasn't that was terrible. I hated that. But uh, but to make up for us not having answers to the Rockets. I enjoy us beating there a lot the Lakers though. Mm -hmm. Wemby five and five? Five by five? Oh yeah. No, that, yeah. that was okay. I mean Wemby just living up to I'm the expectation. That. I'm not hyping that. Wemby living up to the expectation. Wemby five, five what, what was that? Five out five, five, five points, five rebounds, five assists, five steals, five blocks. Well, obviously oh, he did it with more of those things, but at least right, five right, 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 right. Wow. How about that? Mm. Mad Max Sports Talk said Lucas 35 point triple double streak. Meh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meh. Maybe. No, no. Okay. Not moving you guys. What about oh, is, is it almost breaking Will's record? Oh yeah. And then he and then he couldn't he missed like his first shot against OKC. What about and by the way, he's back on that too, by the way. I think he's I think he's made his last 22 shots. So we're back on that again. With, what about, with that. Was it this year that Dallas came back and went on a 30 0 run against OKC? Was that this unbelievable? Season? That was this season. Yes, they did do that. Yes, earlier in the year. <laughs> yeah, that was yes, they did do that. Laney said John Morant's return game was a movie. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Do y'all remember the return show after the return game? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, Stupid, when, yeah that's, when, that's, that's when the Grizzlies were going to go win. That's when the Grizzlies were going to go win fifty games. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Leaf Diggy said Wimby's crazy stat lines. Nah, Sangoon gave him forty-five. Taylor Triple Seven said Dub Chill. Oh, All Star, yeah, All Star weekend. How great that All-Star game was. <laughs> Damn. It was a hell of an All-Star game. I, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, 200 points? Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Can't Tatum wait for the 45 next one. against the Timberwolves? That, that's moving you guys? Not as much as St. Louis um, 45 I don't against Wimby. <laughs> I don't remember either. I remember, I remember Anthony Edwards locking him up down the stretch. I remember that. What else is that? Oh, Malachi Flynn's 50. I never seen the game, so I can't say it was a big moment. I, I didn't see it. And then going 0 for 12 the next game. Get Malachi for the floor. Hey, man, he had 50. <laughs> Yo, why y'all trying to start hating on Halley now? Like, that was that was a crazy run. Like, we all know that was a crazy run. Yeah, but you, you, were, the one just, you, were, going, you were going OD. Yeah, you was That's wild, Ron. You, I, I, I've said some wild stuff, but you was wild, Ron. The only thing to say, John, is helping y'all right now is that my man's hamstring is just a little shaky right now. That's he doesn't look I, like I, it. I he think looks he like would have been good for the whole season, but that's life. <laughs> Big Don Rich, that was a hell of a show. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. We got uh, <laughs> we got a few more super chats. We're gonna go ahead and run to these. Uh, Cultural Saunders said, "Apologize or apologies." I meant tomorrow. Tomorrow's what? What are you talking about? No, no. That's what happens when Ron reads super chat six hours apart. We don't know the context. Yeah. All right. Hell, host. I'll, I'll, I'll start making them like two or three hours apart. Thank you. Okay. DKF said Brunson all NBA first team, right? Right. Potentially. Potentially. I wouldn't be mad if he made it. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be mad if I made it. If he made it. It wouldn't be ridiculous to think that he can make it. Leaf Diggy said, I'm disgusted. Mars B days, five days after mine. He just, wanted people, he just wanted yeah. people to know his birthday is April 7th. That's what it was. No one cares. Well, uh, happy birthday, Leaf. Damn, Aries. Uh, happy G-Day, my bad. Mm -hmm. Happy man. born day, man. Huncho Dre said, low-key gives swipe at TV vibes. Salute panel. <laughs> Y'all get it? 
Kirk gets swept the TV vibes. <laughs> I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no. <Duh. laughs> Chris Martin said it's Mars birthday question mark top three and he's not dot 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 okay he might be three chill and Dom will be having me rolling <laughs> okay <laughs> for memo said how many teams in the east would you pick in a series against the 2018 Cavs what about the 17 Cavs too is that today yeah, in this in this East. Uh, oh, give, me and, Boston, and, give me the Bucks, give me the Knicks, give me the Cavs, give me the Magic, give me the Pacers, give me the Six. <laughs> Mars, you hey, taking all those teams? Give me the Hawks, too. You taking all those teams over the 18 Cavs, the way James was playing? Okay. I, mean, I, I don't think we... I'll, other, I'll, I'll, other, I'll, than, other than saying the word LeBron James, why should I pick the Cavs? That's the problem, Mars. Exactly. That's it, right here. That's the, that's, the, that's that's it. The only well, explanation you have is LeBron James and vibes. And the only reason why, and the only reason why you picking, why you picking Philly? Why you picking Philly? They're a better team and they're better coached. And they're better. better I, I, I will give you better coached. Offensively, I, I they're going to be unstoppable by how bad the Cavs' defense was, and the Cavs have no and, offensive threat outside of one person. That's why and, they're and, a better team. And, and why? And why is Philly that good? Because of. Joel B, Tyrese Matt. Right, so connection. that's kind of the same. It wasn't like James was scoring all the points and getting all the assists. He wasn't doing all of that, Mars. Other yeah, so other than saying team. LeBron James, why would the Cavs beat the Sixers? Well, it's the same as so other than other than Joel and B. Why would the Sixers beat? Why would the Sixers beat them? Because they have the better coach in the series. They are a far superior defensive team. Nick Nurse clears Tyron Lue and Tyrese Max. And Tyrese Maxey ability to ability to shoot the ball, ability to play in transition, is going to put a strain on guys like George Hill and J.R. Smith that they won't be able to handle. Alongside the Cavs having absolutely no rim protection because they're relying on Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson as backline help. They have no chance to slow down the Sixers, and the Sixers are so much better defensively, and they only have to focus on one guy right. with elite coaching that they're going to slow down the Cavaliers. The only, sure, like I, for, I said the only reason anyone would pick the Cavs is because they have LeBron James. That's the only explanation. You can't say anything other than they have LeBron James. Chill, sure, just, just like I've said before, in about four or five, maybe six or seven seasons, so let's call it six seasons. In six seasons, Nick Nurse is going to be getting the Doc Rivers treatment. Nick Nurse is – he that, that 2019 ring is going to hold oh, him up okay. just as long as the 2008 ring held up Doc Rivers. I ain't seen I, I ain't seen Nick Nurse do nothing nothing special. I don't know if he clears. I don't know if he clears. I don't know if he clears. Uh, I don't know if he clears Tyron Lue. I think that he might be better in his in in, in his offensive schemes and where he puts Joel Embiid. But to your point, Miles, when you talk about LeBron James, I mean, I can say the same thing about Joel Embiid. I mean, Tyrese Maxey doesn't get downhill like he would without Joel Embiid. He plays a lot better off of Joel Embiid. Buddy Heald is getting the shots that he's getting, playing off of Joel Embiid. He's getting better shots. Joel Embiid's not there. I think we're talking about something completely different. I don't think you give guys like Amon Shepard and J.R. Smith enough credit for the defenders that they are. I'm not saying that they're all league defenders, but I don't think that you give them enough credit for the defenders that they are. Also, Tristan Thompson, the dirty work guy that he is. I don't think you give him enough credit for the dirty work guy and rebounder that he is. I think he was the best offensive rebounder in the league that year. And if he wasn't, I definitely think he was top three. So the idea that they would just walk past the Philadelphia, the idea that they would just walk past Cleveland, I'm definitely not subscribing to that. No. Was Demar Schumper even on that team? In 18? Yeah. I think he was. was he? I, I think he was on it. No, he was on the team in 16, Mars. I'm, I'm sorry. George Hill. I don't think you give I don't think you give guys like George Hill. I don't think you give guys like J.R. Smith enough credit for being the defenders that they were with the effort that they gave. So why were they the 29th ranked defense? Why they were the rank why were they were ranked the 29th defense? Mm -hmm. Same reason why, same reason why bad defensive teams are that. I mean, Donovan Mitchell plays defense and when Rudy Gobert was off the floor, they were one of the worst defensive teams in the game. Yeah, so, but they had a Rudy Gobert, so their defense wasn't 29th in right. the game. Now, when he wasn't on the floor, yeah, bad defense. The Cavs, no matter what lineup they put out, right. 29th in defense. Why is that? They, they, they were just a bad defense overall. But when you're playing against against the Philadelphia 76ers with Joel Embiid on the floor, I mean, you're clearly going to have to deal with him. But 
Mars, you want to take James, like you said, other than James, other than Joel Embiid, I just feel like this team defensively, I feel like they may be able to compete. So why the, the only team that was worse defensively than the Cavs, the Phoenix Suns, mm -hmm. who won 21 games. They were garbage. That was the only team that was worse than them defensively. Mm -hmm. So I, I look yeah. at that team. We're going to talk about the personnel they had on defense, I guess. And then, then I look in the playoffs. The defense wasn't much better. I mean, can y'all remind me real quick what goes into defensive rating, like on paper? What makes points allowed per hundred points allowed points allowed, points allowed per hundred possession. That's what it. Which, which means now can... there there can be variance in terms of sometimes mm -hmm. you play good defense and teams make shots. Understandable. Right. Oh, a lot that of times you play defense and teams. Make yeah, yeah. So like I can understand that. Now over the course of an eighty-two game season, how much can that really skew the outcome and make you the 29th ranked defense when you're not really not that bad? Not too much, in my opinion. Um, but even if you think, oh, really, they're the 24th ranked defense, not the 29th, that's fine. In the playoffs, they weren't a good still defense bad. either. That's still bad. Yeah, yeah in right. the playoffs, they, they weren't a good defense either. So, like, they might have had some personnel who tried, but they weren't a good defense. And the yeah. Sixers are a good defense. Now, if you want to say they're a good defense because of Joel Embiid, sure. Right. But Joel Embiid's going to be playing in the series. The same way the reason the Cavs were a good offense in 2018 is because of LeBron James. Sure, they're both going to be playing. But I just look at the team. I see one's a better coach team, better defensive team, and offensively, they have other options. Even if their options come off of what their best player provides, they still yeah. have those options. The Cavs was pretty much, we get an open shot because of what LeBron James produces. We knock down shots, we win games. If we don't knock down shots, we lose. That's pretty much what it came down to. The only series where they the other guys played well was against Toronto. So if you think you're going to get that from them, sure. But every other series, no. The regular season, not so much. Mm -hmm. the, the Cavs just weren't a good team. And if and I'm fine. If you want to pick the Cavs, not you, just anyone in general, you want to pick the Cavs? Mm -hmm. As long as you can admit you're picking the Cavs. You're not picking the Cavs. You're picking LeBron James. I'm picking him because of James. That's the yeah, only reason I have I'm no picking. problem with that. But That's don't, don't say I'm you're picking the Cavs. Just say you're picking LeBron. If you say you're picking I'm LeBron, picking him I have no That's problem. That's but don't, don't try picking. and act like you're making the Cavs a better team because you know the only yeah. reason you're picking them is because of LeBron. Just say you're picking right. LeBron versus these teams in the East. How I good he no was. Go ahead. I mean, they, 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 they weren't awesome. That. They weren't. It was obvious that the next year they were at the bottom of the Eastern Conference without him on the court. Yeah, just, just say you're All picking right, LeBron. Fellas, we do got to keep it pushing. Right. And I do got to shout out the NBA X show today on playback. It will be coming on at you can see it right here, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And this is actually the other slate of shows as well throughout the week, starting next week. But today, NBA X on playback, 6 p.m. Eastern. Y'all be sure to lock in. This show is going to be insane. I repeat, insane. This is probably going to be one of my favorite shows on the PC platform, if not the favorite, because I just have that much confidence in the duo of J-Rob and Damo. Going ballistic. I'm I, I, I'm really getting Luka Jokic, Luke, Giannis, Giannis Jokic, something like that. That type of duo. I got them going that type of crazy together on this show. So y'all tap in. On to the next super chat, though. Julius Irvin said. Why we discredit Steph and KD, but act like Braun didn't join a super team to win two rings? Jump ship, join another team to win, then Jock. He didn't jump he on the Boston Celtics to do it, Julius Irvin. So knock it off. Damn, I'm tired of hearing that. It's not the same thing. It's not. He didn't get on the Boston Celtics. He didn't do that. Mm, that's pretty close, too. He went to Miami. No, the, the, difference, the difference is Bron no. built a super team and KD joined a team that was made. So the, the, the issue people have is KD just did Bron's method, but easier. That's the issue people have. Damn. Bron built it from scratch. KD was like, why do I have to build it when I can just join this team? Right. I can just get on this group. Uh, like, <laughs> they did the same thing. KD just did it the easier version. That, that's it. They both have the same intentions. Stack the deck so they can have the best team and the best odds to win a championship. KD just did it smarter. All right, Charles. Scott Holder said, if Cavs do back-to-back, -back, KD still goes to the Dubs. I think he said he wouldn't, but, you know, maybe you don't believe him. I don't know. I think KD said he wouldn't have joined if they won in 2016. NV said... How does the league change if Braun doesn't go to Miami? How does DeRozan and Bosch look together? Does Wade stay in Miami? 
They got Carmelo instead of LeBron. And I don't think the Rosen would have been. I don't think they would have ever. Yeah. D Wade, Carmelo, Chris Bosch. I, I don't think they would have ever. I don't think with, with DeMar DeRozan, I don't think they would have ever won. That got that got proven in, in Toronto. Because they would have kept, no matter where he was, they would have kept running into James. And we already saw who he was against James. Saying LeBron went to a 40 win team is the most disingenuous thing I've ever read. But hey, technically you're right. But Jesus Christ, they weren't the, the same guys, crew. No, they, they were the not the same. Guys were, I'm not even saying they did the same thing. I'm saying they no. had the same intentions. They just executed it differently. Yeah, but they, they to say the they went to a 40 win team is just disgusting. Like, mm -hmm. what's the point of even saying? They tore that. They tore that roster down. It was a completely different roster the next year. All right, keeping it pushing. MV said, "Oh, yes. Mall go crazy." Said. Y'all talking about Steph's legacy. What about KD slash Russ? KD resigns, Thunder trade for Oladipo, and they draft him off Sabonis, Thunder become a dynasty. So then they never win. Mm. <laughs> Russ? Look, I said that. Smoke, are you guys deaf? I literally said that. That's why it was different. KD did it the easier way. That's why it was easier for KD, because he built a ready-made team. All I said, they did, they had the same intention. Stack the deck of their roster with immense talent to win a championship. AD did it by going to a team that was already built and he was just adding himself to it. LeBron did it by building the team with him, D Wade, and Bosch as the core. They had the same intentions, just different execution. And you guys don't like that KD did it the easier way. That is what I'm saying. They didn't do the same thing. I never said that. I said they had the same intentions and they executed it differently. That's what I said. And I said what your issue was and I said I understood it. You guys are mad that KD did it the easy way. I said that. So why are you guys arguing with me if you're saying what I'm saying and I feel like I'm wrong? What's this that mean? Loki Varis said AD in the tourney was on one. He was awesome. Yes, he was. 100% he was. Football breakdown said Brian outscoring the Clippers while locking Kawhi. Wasn't they down by like something like 24 or 25 in that game? And they yeah, came back and won. Not, there was down something, and then LeBron said he vetoed yeah. Darvin Hunt's game plan. Get rid of that. We're not doing that. And he shut the and he shut the door on Kawhi Leonard, by the way. Yes, he did. Shut the door on Kawhi Leonard. So LeBron really is the coach if he can just veto the game plan like that. No, we ain't doing Which means that. we need to stop blaming Darvin Ham. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean he's the coach. <laughs> so he can just veto the coach's game plan. But so when the coach does a bad job, we can't say anything. But when it's a good thing, oh, LeBron, he did it. Like, come on. I'm, I actually am trying to run something here, but this dude is like, no, we ain't doing that. We well, it's just like when you got when you got a guy when you got a guy like LeBron, Peyton Manning, you got guys like this that you can trust. You can tell them like, oh, we're gonna run these stats. We're gonna look for this. If you see something else, I trust you. Right. To to you know to deviate from that plan. That's a that's a good that's a good team to be on. A team a coach that trust 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 certain players to deviate. You know, mm -hmm. I know for sure for every I'm not every team it's a bad I have. Thing. I'm just every, saying every, it's cooler how it is. LeBron has the yeah, but we to, that doesn't mean he's not. All, all I'm saying Mars, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean he's not the coach. You know what I'm saying? Every well, I, I I advise every coach at the beginning of when you're building your teams, when you're building the camaraderie, beginning of the seasons. Yeah. You find these players that are your floor generals, and you give them you give them responsibilities as running certain aspects in practice, where you can sit down and tell them, "I want you to do this, this, this," and you let them go do that. You know, so that way, when it comes down to time, because you, as we all know, what we see on the TV isn't what players see on the floor. It's not what refs see. It's not what players see. You might see something. You might see well, this 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 player is helping more this way. Okay, if you see that, I trust you to be able to make that call. I think that's a good a good relationship to have. And once again, Mars, I'm not saying that you said it's bad. I'm just saying that doesn't mean that you're not the coach. I think that is actually the the signs of a good coach. Okay, yeah, okay, I agree. And to the people in chat again, I'm going to ask you guys this question, hypothetical. If the 2016 Thunder lost to the Spurs in the second round, the Spurs that were 14-1 and at home, who were better in the regular season than the Thunder, if they lost to that team and KD joined the Warriors, are you guys saying you wouldn't have a problem with it? Because if you're telling me the reason you have a problem is because he went to the team that he lost to, would you have a problem with him joining the Warriors if he lost to the Spurs in round two instead? 
CKF said Brunson 50 point masterclass against the Suns, where he made all nine of his threes, was definitely smoke a is highlight. Death. Smoke is deaf. Oh, who asked yeah. I never asked if Katie went to the Spurs. Smoke is just deaf, so I'm going to ignore him for the rest of the time. And everyone else is saying they wouldn't have a problem? Well, other than learning hoops? Okay, fine. Well, some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. Okay, that's just down to your own discretion at that point. Okay, cool. Whatever. That's on you. Julius Irvin said, why y'all act like it's a fact that the Warriors can't win without KD? Curry and Clay. Curry and Clay play bad in 16, still went seven games. So imagine if they played well in 17. Well, who's to say that they're going to play well? I mean, now that they got a psychological advantage on them. Mars and I have already had this conversation. I think James broke them. I don't think they What? I think he broke chill, them. Chill, chill things they're just mentally soft. What? What I think he broke them. So I do. Who's to say that they don't play well? I what? think he broke them. I do. So they get to the finals and they're just shivering in their boots. I think they're like, oh, we're I playing against I, the I, big I, bad booty After, 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 after we, what happened the year before with that crew that they had and what they did, I think they smoked them. Yes. So so I do. So coming down from three run, oh, mm -hmm. I get it. So that gives you the psychological edge, which edge, which is the reason why KD went there because he got walked down from three run. So now he. he I get it. Okay. When you have a psychological advantage, you just give it to him. He already I mean, looking at Steph. Matter of fact, Bron, Steph, matter of fact Steph, Steph goes to the Cavs. Steph Curry, just so, so we clear, so so we're clear, Steph Curry is the gatekeeper. So Kevin Durant is not looking at James in terms of championships. No, he's looking at Curry as the gatekeeper in the Western Conference. I can't get to James until I get past this dude, and I'm not getting past him. So in order for me to get there, I got to get with him. That's the way that that's going to work. Chill, that's not even what I'm getting at. The fact that I'm getting at that, you, that you're saying that they won't play well in the 17 finals, I think it's more of a chance that they play well. You could play well. Or, or, or even play better than they played the year before right. than them right. just laying another egg in both so, players here. If I'm not mistaken, in 17, Bogut wasn't on the crew anymore. Is that not, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, Bogut but That's because gone. they couldn't afford him because they got KD. Right. Yeah, so they would have brought him that, back that, if they don't get KD. Even yeah, if they, that's that's what, that's why I said they just run it back. I just you know I think the same and, and, thing to say is that they just bring the same team back. Right, they bring it back. They bring that crew back. The Cleveland Cavaliers bring their crew, bring their crew back. Everything that everything that as the Cavs did was better the year before. Later on in the series, now coming into the series next, now coming into the season next year, the confidence is ridiculously high. Not only is it ridiculously high, we play better. You saw what they did to them on Christmas, even with KD. You saw what they did to them on Christmas. How much better James wasn't. How much better James was in transition. How much better Kyrie Irving was in one on one. How much better Kevin Love was at shooting the long ball. How much better J.R. Smith was. How much better this team was all around. Take KD off that Warriors team. They're looking at them like we have these guys handled. I think they broke them. Yeah, they're just mentally soft, man. Loki Varis, Varis, however you say your name, I'm gonna go with Varis. Loki Varis said, Braun 40k, go. Never see that was, against, that was against the Nuggets, right? The 40,000? Yes. Lost that game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but that's crazy that that didn't get brought up throughout that whole stint. But shout out, Braun 40k. Somebody in the chat was here. saying that, like a couple people in the chat said that, but of course, I, I ignored it because no Lakers praise. Mm. <laughs> I want people in the chat to understand. Like, so beating, the Lakers, the, is, beating the Lakers is more important ass. than winning the championship to me. Like, I just want to beat the Lakers. That's what that's I it. live for is to beat the Lakers. I just need y'all to – y'all call it petty. Y'all be like, oh, that's corny, this and that. I don't care. I just want to beat the Lakers. Is it we can go 4-78. and 78, And as long as those four games are beating the, Le beating the Lakers, like – Ohio State, Michigan. Why? It's Ohio State, I Michigan. I could sleep fine as long as we just beat LA. It's Ohio State, Michigan, 100%. We could be 1 in 10 for the season. We beat Michigan. We had a successful season. We good. <laughs> Finn275 said, Bron and KD did basically the same thing. People just like Bron and don't like KD. No, it's because it's now we've, we, well, not now, but we've learned that it's because KD went to the team that beat him. And if he didn't lose to the Warriors, People would be fine with him going to a 73 and 9 team with the unanimous MVP. It's because he lost to them. That's that's what we've realized. Mars, so it's not about the super team. It's about it's yeah. about he lost to the team. He, it, it, if he it, if he lost in round one to Dallas 
and then went and joined the Warriors. It still would be KD, bad, Mars. KD's Mars, perfectly fine, man. Do you think, Mars, KD, that's cool? No, Mars, that's because not because true, Because he lost Mars. to them. That's the problem. It, hey, it, the, fact that he, the fact that he lost to them compounds it. Him jumping on that Warriors team still would have been bad. The fact that he gets on that crew. Yeah, mad at the child. The child's the one who told me, nah, nah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's all right. Still, it's, it still would have been bad. Them. But the fact that he lost to them, it just compounds it. That's all it does. So if, okay, so if he went to the Warriors and he didn't lose to them, is it the same thing as what LeBron did? Mars, yes. I felt I mean, the same, I'm, I'm, I felt I'm the same way about KD as I felt about LeBron. It was just a little bit worse. And Tosh, you felt the same, it was the same emotion, same feeling. And Tosh, you're not calling out any cap. You're not calling out any cap. You, you you just said what happened the next year. What happened the next year was they got Kevin Durant. What are you talking about, cap? Chat, I'm running a poll right now. Which was worse? Yeah. Dumbass nigga. KD's, KD's, KD's was worse, bro. KD's was worse. He went to the yeah, team. KD's he went to a ready-made yeah. team that he lost to. It's undoubtedly worse. Brian the Heat. Or is it the same? It's equal. Like the, it was, the, it was two. Both of it was 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 sorry moves, like sucker moves for right. sure. I can't, I can't get down with any of them. But like what KD did, what KD did was it's like unforgivable. Like, like Brian at least went back home and and made made and righted some of his wrongs. You know, KD just did. That was just great. I, I I don't even have the vocabulary to describe how I felt about that. You know what I mean? Like, if I, I was thought it home, was a... I could probably pull out my dictionary and find something. But right now, I don't like the book. When I heard that, Ox, right? When 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 I heard that, Ox, I first of all, I thought they was lying when I heard the KD sign with the Warriors. Like April Fools, right? Yeah, I thought somebody. Was, I was like, no, he didn't. He did not go there. And then I, I I I made a beeline to the TV <laughs> and saw that he ended up getting on the Warriors. I was like, what? What? How can you do that? I'm serious. How like you do that, you, yo? You, you a hooper? You you a hooper? Like you know, like you just don't do that. Like oh, no. against that's breaking all the rules. That's a no. cruel sin. You can't come back from that, bro. Oh, no, all man. right, fellas, we got to get off Brown and KD. This <laughs> this is a time. This is a topic we've beaten to the ground plenty of times. Yeah. Ron, but I got what more to be a competitor, Ron? I got a super chat from Dr. or Doctor. He said the panel before y'all disappeared for a month. We didn't just uh, huh? yeah, man. Where's uh, you, you? You forget, you forget mm -hmm. our little hiatus, the good old days. No, no, <laughs> every day. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we guys, we can't <laughs> sit back. I don't even know where else is going. He might have been speaking. Yeah, I don't know where he's going. We just know he's gonna have a gap fest. We can't, we can't possibly let Ox just continue. I wanted to hear what you was gonna say. I need to continue to watch. Forget it. I did too. What, what what was I what I say wrong? I just don't I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying we might have been absent, but we weren't non-existent. You know what Swiper was talking about. <laughs> just because I ain't here, don't mean I ain't around. Just so we clear, hey, we were still alive. You know, yeah. <laughs> allegedly we're absent. Smoke Rich Big said we're it's clones. funny because the Kings gonna finish below LA. Mm. Well, as of right now, the Lakers are tenth in the West. <laughs> as of right now they are speaking of which chill uh this is the perfect time to go ahead and check out the standings and talk about some of the games tonight mm -hmm. so this is what we're looking at right now let me go ahead and slap this on the screen let me scroll down to the rankings so we can actually look at the rankings all right this is what we're looking at right now on the east we got the uh in the biggest thing to Feast your eyes on is the Cavs, Magic, Pacers, and Sixers. Why is this important? Because tonight, the Pacers and the Cavs play, and also the Magic and the Sixers play. So, made you look before you go any further. I'm glad you brought up that January 30th game because one, that was the Cavs, it was the back end of a six game road trip, and it was the last game. So, can we add something else to it? Don't make it sound like it was just that. No, it was the back end of a six-game road trip that they played the Cavs. So, anyway, I'm sorry, Ron, as you were saying. The Pacers and the Cavs play tonight, and the Magic and the Sixers play tonight. Ron, who do the – uh, I'll wait till we get to the West. I'll, I'll be patient. Okay, the, Cavs, the, the, the Cavs play who tonight, Ron? The Cavs play the Pacers. 
That's gonna be that's a division mm-hmm. game. Yo. Mm-hmm. That's, that's do, a, that's do, we know, game. do we know who has the tiebreaker? Um, I can find out right now. What what happens? And since they're in the same division, what happens if they're two and two? Division record. So your record yeah. against the rest of the division, division record. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. 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 So, so the Cavs the has, can really get in this top six, man. So the Cavs. Hell. Yeah. And see, I think it's slept on y'all like that. The East is just as close as the West. I don't, I don't uh, pop, you know, people aren't really acknowledging that. Yeah, it's just that the nine and ten are ruining it. But the top eight, right? And take out Boston, it's very close. Two through eight, very close. So, Ron, if they if the Cavs beat them tonight, because uh, Indiana has the as of right now, they got the series, they got the series lead. They've beaten them two of the last three times they played them. So, if the Cavs beat them tonight, then the Cavs and in the, in the and the Pacers are tied. Now, if you go to the if you go to the division record, well, if, if the Cavs win tonight, they're just above anyways because they're they're already a game ahead of them, ahead of Indiana, right? Yeah. So if Indiana wins tonight, then that puts them above the Cavs. Yeah, because they win the they, they they go they go three and one against them. Wow. Okay. Do we know who has this uh, the tiebreaker? The 76ers in the Magic. 76 is in Philly. I think that they beat in Philly. I'd Philly. assume it's Orlando, but I don't know. I don't know, Ron. I'm not, not my, Ron. But I know Orlando's last the season is against the Bucks. So if Philly beat Orlando and the Bucks handle business like they should, Philly can get in the top six. Philly trying to for real get out of that playing tournament. They are. So Philly. They're on, they on like a six game winning streak. Who, who did you ask, Ron? Philly's. The Phillies top against Orlando. That's correct. That's what yeah. you asked me about. You asked me about Orlando. They played Orlando. Looks like Philly has it Philly of one bird. Philly of one bird. Yeah. I think. Yep. So they own Atlanta. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, Orlando. They beat them twice. So if they beat them to, so if they they played them tonight, they beat them all. Th- they already oh, yeah, have yeah, the tiebreaker. If they win tonight, they have the same record. But Philly would have the tiebreaker. I guess. So that puts but, the magic so, in uh in, so the, in the play. Move, so Philly would move to five. We're getting to a point where we're not gonna know any playoff matchups until Monday. But, but so right, that's exactly what's gonna happen, right? Mars. We have one we have one matchup confirmed, Dallas versus the Clippers, and we still don't even know who's gonna have home court in that matchup. So this is this is on the west or on the east. Now let me scroll down to the west. We obviously know the west is uh just as tight, but we have a couple games tonight, too, that are going to decide some things as well. Um, as you can see at the bottom, the Kings, the Warriors, and the Lakers are all tied at 45-35. So they're basically duking it out for the 8th, ninth, and 10th season. I could throw up right now looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> can you handle it, Ox? Can you handle it, Ox? Hey, big Ox. Hey, watch this. That better? Oh, here, you too, Mars. You like that? They put up. Houston Houston put up a fight, though. That that, that part of one. We might we might finish with forty wins already. Eleven seed. Like what we talking about? That's good basketball, Mars. That's just that just shows good basketball. I know I said what I said earlier, but this has been a hell of a basketball season. Y'all, I got to come up with that. I was petty. It's been all right. Disgusting right now. Oh, I hate the fucking the freaking Pelicans, man. So the, the crazy thing about this is essentially the Warriors, Kings, and Lakers are fighting for really who gets to play, who gets two shots at getting into the playoffs, two games, and who only has one. Well, yeah, who only has one game? Or who, who can basically take a loss, who can afford to take a loss, and who has to win both games? Who do Golden State and the Lakers play tonight? The, so, the Golden State play the Pelicans. Yeah. Oh, okay, the, okay. The Lakers, Lakers got a tough game too. If I'm not mistaken. The no, Lakers, Lakers got the Grizzlies tonight. Oh my god! But the, the Lakers, the Lakers have the Pels on Sunday, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And we got we got Phoenix, and that's the that's and that's it for us, right? Just Phoenix. Yeah, you, y'all got the Suns tonight, and then on Sunday, who do you guys have? You guys have the uh the Kings play the Blazers. Blazers. That's right, that's right. And the Warriors got the Jazz on Sunday. It's like yeah. it's, okay. it's, it's, the it's, the it's, it's very possible, it's, it's very possible that. All three of you, these teams go one on one. Very possible. And we, but we got the tiebreaker over the Lakers. Yeah, it, it, it would say it would say like this: it was if, if both teams go one on one. So if, if every team ends ends forty six and thirty six, it will be in that order. If the if the Warriors we're gonna, win, out, we're gonna we're, we're gonna beat the Blazers for sure. 
You better beat the Blazers, Ox. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you better beat them. I better not see you on Monday. And I was having a conversation about y'all lost to the goddamn Portland Trailblazers, Ox. I better respect, not have Respect it. Portland. Respect Portland. Get the hell out of here, uh, Mars. Look, hell no. Y'all, I do, I do got to say this. I, I am going to be late on Monday. I'm not ducking smoke. I, I'm going to be late. I'm letting you I'm know traveling. in advance. I'm traveling. You're getting back home. Huh? All right. Uh. Okay, so outside of the top three, the next two, you got the six and the seven seeds. You got the Pelicans at 48 and 32. And just the game behind them, you have the Phoenix Suns at 47 and 33. Um, this can still go either way, too. The, the, the Phoenix Suns are still fighting to get that six seed. And the Pelicans actually have two tough games for the last two games. They can slip and become a playing team, too. How do we see this panning out? The Pels are going. Oh, please. The Pels are, Pels are trying to win their games. The Suns are trying to win their. No team from six down is trying to lose. And Dallas, are trying, to get, and Dallas are trying to get that four seed. They are. Who, wait, wait. Who, who's, who do the Phoenix Suns play their second game? They got us tonight. Minnesota. They play, they Minnesota. They play Minnesota on Sunday. Yep. Yeah. Minnesota on Sunday afternoon. So, if we, so we can end up with the seven still, technically. If they lose both. If they lose both. Yeah, I think so. I don't know about oh. a tiebreaker and everything, but well, I mean that that won't really matter though, right? Seven and eight don't really matter, right? Home court in the first playing game, that's it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, they don't, they don't want they don't want to come to go to one. But yeah, the the I'm I'm looking at that Mavs and Clippers. I'm not gonna lie. I know the Clippers play us on Sunday. We trying to spoil the party. I don't know what to tell you. We trying to spoil the party. We we don't want to lose. So, you had a chance, Mars, to spoil the party, and you didn't. Hey, Very hey, 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 listen, listen. Oh, we just weren't we weren't ready. We weren't ready to make the plane. Not yet. But we Not are yet. ready to try and go 500. We want to beat Portland tonight, and we want to beat the Clippers on Sunday. We want to go 500. So we will be there to try and spoil the party for these Clippers, which then means Dallas can get that four seed. Because Dallas, we look. They Dallas play the right Pistons. Now, Dallas play the yeah. Pistons tonight. And, they should win Oklahoma that game. City on, and Oklahoma City on Sunday. And then OKC on Sunday. Yeah. Where are OKC still trying to go for the one seed? Are OKC trying to go for the two? I don't know. Maybe OKC. I can't, believe I'm, I can't believe I'm depending on Memphis right now. Yes, you are. <laughs> Memphis, hey, this now's a good time to to talk about the fact that Memphis try and be competitive, even though they lose. That's, they try. That's true. They can they can beat someone. They can beat a team. <laughs> we Oklahoma City is definitely that. Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City Mars is definitely trying to get that one seed. I mean, they got the they got the Bucks tonight at home. And they got Dallas on Sunday afternoon. So they definitely not trying. And they're rolling right now, too. They won their last three games. So they definitely trying to keep in the race for that number one seed. And then that, that is, the final day is going to have a lot of interesting games. Yeah, the Clippers, the Clippers play the Jazz tonight. That's pro, Yeah, that's probably free. Although the Jazz just beat us. But this is the Jazz on the roads. The Clippers probably got that one. Which would then no, mean Piccolo, we didn't, the Dallas we didn't have to win both their games. Um, Dallas need us to do them a favor. Denver. Also I'm with the Pelicans, I'm not watching none of these games. Man. With the Pelicans and the Suns, the Suns actually have the tiebreaker. So Denver should lose. They got Memphis and San Antonio the last two games. They so wait, you're, you're telling me that the Pelicans can end up with the seven seed? Oh, yeah. the Clippers have to lose both then, their games uh, for Dallas to get the four seed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's tough. Which means that y'all have to play the Mox in the playing tournament. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I know Dallas got the five seed. The Clippers aren't losing both their games. <laughs> Hey, thanks for pointing that out, Chantel. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I apologize. <laughs> five and zero against them, Chill. Chill with five and zero against them. I mean, zero and five. I'm sorry. Zero and own five it. against them. Own y'all. That's all I can tell you about that team. Could you? With, could you imagine losing to a team six times in one season? In, in a row, by the way. In a row. Uh, and I don't think anybody's gonna catch the Nuggets, but it is it is it is a close race for that two seed between the all they got to do is win. Their, all, if, if I'm not mistaken, Ron, all Denver has to do is just win their last two games and they wrap up the number one seed. So they play yeah. Memphis and they play San Antonio. They last two games. They yeah, win these last two games. Walk. Yeah, they play Memphis and then they play San Antonio on Sunday. They wrap up their regular season. They should. They should be the number one overall seed. Oklahoma City, on the other hand, they got Dallas. They got somebody else, too. Who else did they play? Oklahoma City plays Dallas. So it's between them and 
Minnesota. And I think that I, I think Minnesota wins they got the tie the Bucks tonight. Yeah, they got the Bucks in Dallas. I think Minnesota wins the tiebreaker against them. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, Minnesota gonna... has the Hawks, and then on Sunday, what they have the Suns? Uh Minnesota. Yeah, the Hawks and the Suns for, for the Wolves. So the Wolves. Yeah. Oh, Steph. And they beat them. Right. So they if 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 they beat Oklahoma, if if uh if have they already played them four times? They already played them, they only played them three times. So they lost of those three games. They 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 lose the tiebreaker. Minnesota loses the tiebreaker to Oklahoma City because they lost to them two. Oklahoma City beating them two of the three times that they played them. And so why why are the Wolves ahead in the rankings right now then? Let's see here. Because I think it's division. I think it's the divisional record, if I'm not mistaken. Because they're in the same division. All three of these guys are in the same division, and I think Minnesota. I think Minnesota has beaten Denver. Yeah, I think Minnesota has beaten Denver more than Oklahoma City has. No, that's not true. That's not true. Oklahoma City has beaten Denver more than Minnesota has. I think they three and one against. Uh, I think they three and one against them. Yeah, fellas, but well, either way it goes, Monday's going to be a hell of a show. Yeah, well, Monday is when we'll know some more. Hell of a we'll, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll know the three six matchups yeah. in both conferences and the four five. And yep. Then we've got to wait for the play in, obviously. This, this, it's, this is just too, it's too much for me right now. Like, can you handle it? Can you handle it? Nah, like, you know, you know how, like, you. You like you, you all your emotions come, but you like you're not gonna cry, but you like they're just all bottled. I just I need like I need to talk to somebody right now. Like I need to shrink. Uh -oh. I need to sit down and lay down on the couch for a couple that's, minutes. That's right? what we that's what we here for, Ox. Talk talk yeah, talk, I need, talk about but it. I need you know I need to sit down and drink some sparkling water or something. You know what I mean? Hey, give, me some, give me some I, I can I can pass your tickets and I'm Ron, you can shut the talking. hell up, man. <laughs> you could, I will, man. I will no say doubt. if the eight, nine, and ten seed <laughs> finish with the same record, I have no problem with a play. But facts leap, that's what I need. I need a hug. I will say that. So if they if they all have the same record, I have no problem with that being a play in between this is teams. right, Mars. This is why a play in would be important if you if if the race is this close, but like the tenth the, the tenth place team in the in the in the in the east, there should be no play in with Atlanta and, and Chicago. It facts. shouldn't be. Facts. No, you dudes are not playoff teams, you're not. Absolutely not. But if all of the if those if the Kings, the Warriors, and the Lakers all are 47 and 35 or 46 and 36 or 45 and 35 or 45 and 37, wherever they end up with, they right. have the same record. I don't mind them playing a play and I don't mind them figuring out how to give figure out which teams they seed that. That's fine. But I don't think the seven seed should be dragged into that playing if they have more winning. <laughs> no, we got nothing to do with this, Mars. Nothing that you dudes at eight, nine, and ten, you are all tied. This has nothing to do with us. Y'all yeah. handle if, if you're tired, play a plane. If you have the same amount of wins after 82 games, yeah, let them play for why I'm involved Otherwise, in that. No, why I'm involved in that has nothing mm -mm. I, that, that's beyond me. Absolutely not. I don't right, talk. I know, Major. Look, I do not have a, a, a play, a, a change of heart about the play in. I have a change of heart. I, I'm the way this is right now, where you got three teams, eight, nine, and ten, all tied, they could duke it out in a one game, but the Chicago Bulls. Who are what six games under 500? Four, Four games under 500, and Atlanta, who's eight games under 500. That's not a playing team. I mean, that's not a playoff team. It's not. No, absolutely not. We should not have a conversation about those two teams. No. Mm -mm. Ultra Saunders said Kyle Kuzma's karma after that tweet. What tweet was that? One of when the best. No one, when he said no one wants to be that team, talking about the Pistons, and then the Wizards became. That team. I believe he didn't lie though. Nobody wants to be that team. They don't. Yeah, Toronto were that team though. Mm -hmm. SMN R and DM said Austin Reeves interview after the Jalen Johnson dunk. Forgot about that dunk. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was, was the start of the, the game. interview though. What did, what did he say? He said you um someone was like, What was your um like uh what was your perspective or your POV? And he's like, you don't want to know my, you don't want to know my POV. Oh, were they salty? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Ox, that was the start of the game. That was from the tip. That's how the game started. 
So well, the series definitely felt the tip for sure. Damn, he, he, he put the tip in I. For sure, the tip in for sure. Oh, we are tough, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are. <laughs> Oh baby, <laughs> Mad Max Sports Talk said, "Aunt, send a video moment." Oh, that was oh, some good old entertainment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alan L said, "The Lucas hook shot three had me on the floor again." Was that against Brooklyn? I mean, he had a scoop shot from twenty feet against us. So. We done with Luca. I don't care about Luka's him. Ridiculous. He's trash. Remember in the Olympics when he did the one where he was going to the left, basically fading out of bounds and threw it up off the glass? Was that off the glass? I don't think you like I, I came to this really Luke is just lucky. He's not that good. He just gets lucky. <laughs> hey Mars, those He's are lucky. shots like the yeah. shots he hits are the shots where you're like in the gym and you're just like fooling around, you just throwing stuff like, oh that was cold. But like Luca, maybe, maybe you know I worked saying? on like, this. How about that? No, nah, no, nah, he's lucky. He's lucky. Mm, Luca is so filthy with that with with that ball in his hand, trying to put the ball in the basketball. It's it's almost nothing like it. Like, Luca is ridiculous with stuff like that. Julius Irvin said, first choke just as bad, and came back next year and beat Miami. The Warriors wasn't mentally weak. Chill. They failed. To, they failed to the bottom and climb back to the top in twenty two. Nah, they were soft. Exactly. <laughs> they were. You you know what it is, Morris? Just just real quick, go right back real quick. It's not even so much luck. It's just that he's he'll put up stuff that people don't think to try. Like he's like people. Some people get stuck in situations. They'd be like, they got to throw the ball to somebody. He like, fuck it. Let me get it up. Let me see what Ox, happens. There's a, Ox, there's a reason why they don't think to try it because it's ridiculous to even think to try that. That's why they don't. <laughs> that's why they don't do it. <laughs> and then he gets lucky. He shoots them and he makes them. That boy called. That's all I know. Facts. Like, Facts. Facts. He shoots him and he be making that shit. And I'm like, Luca just dope like Toast, that. I'm not falling for Mars trolling. I do think that they were soft. Exactly. I think he broke them. Mars, exactly. Mars ain't saying that the troll. I think he broke them. Period. Yeah, two things can be true. Okay. Uh, Mo77 also said, happy born day, Mars. Nice. Another year around the sun. Check out, check out the, the, the kid Mars. Uh, Damo or Damo said, uh, I want to become a member for Players' Choice, and he clicked the membership button, and now he's a member. So oh. shout out to Damo or Damo. Yeah. Made you look, said, you know what? Today's going to be a good day you want to get to be a too? member on the Players' Choice channel. Yep. So you know what he did? He paid that $199 or $599 and he became a member. And I think he paid the $599. Hold on, let me look. Let me search. Oh, yeah, he paid the $599. And now he gets to watch these shows behind the paywall on the Player's Choice channel. But in case you don't want to do that and you have to watch it live, tap into NBA X tonight at 6 Eastern time and watch an all time performance. Uh, all right, back to the other super chats. Shout real out quick, to all the new members today. Quick, what's up? What's up? Toast, to, toast, toast to ghost. Toast to goat. I'm pretty sure Draymond. What did Draymond say? If we didn't get, if we didn't get uh, Kevin Durant, what did he say? They weren't winning. They were not beating him. So there's your evidence right there from a guy who was actually playing. So that's not a reputable source. He's a psycho. No, no, I agree. I agree. Um, what was it? Justin Jackson said that the Bucks weren't beating the Nets in 21 if they ain't. If Kyrie and the main go down, so yeah, mm -hmm. reps resource. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna agree yeah. with that. I'm sorry, that facts. LA, that LA flights not lying. Draymond, Draymond is a notorious Braun Glazer, so, so no, yeah. if they, he played on the team, you go, you go agree with him. Jeff Teague said the same thing about the Nets in 21, so they were gonna win. Yeah, thank you, T. Yeah, Jeff Teague said it too. Mm -hmm. So hey, the 21 Nets were gonna win. So just point out Brax with the super chat. He said, if Oak was 30 years younger, I would have ate his lunch, gave him his money to buy some more, and then ate that too. Free eats. You too, Ron. But it's not free if I, you gave him the money to buy more. Ox, and Ox, there's, so there's, Ox, there's no way a dude with glasses and baby dicks on his head is beating me 20 years ago, 30 years ago. It's not happening. <laughs> not happening. Sorry. It's not happening. It's not. It's not happening. Nope. 
Not happening. Oh, shit. Okay. And, and Brax, I do just want to point out the out, fact. I do want to point out the fact, Brax, that that's tough big talk coming from a guy that got his goofy chain snatched. Mm. You're not even top 10 goofies no more. <laughs> How that work? Yo, <laughs> Hey Brex, you next time next time you get involved in something like that, send a super chat. Make sure you have a safe word, you know what I'm saying? Because this is getting okay. ugly. No. Hey Brax, you started the year off hot. Now you know where to be found. Mm, good. Wow, Brax. <laughs> I don't think so. Nope, not happening. Sorry. All right, so we got a couple more minutes. No yep. more super chats, but. Let's talk ball. Let's 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 talk who we think's gonna win tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, couple games, couple games. I got uh, seventy six is a magic. Who wins this game tonight? The six. I'll take Philly. I'll take Philly. Yep. Joel Embiid plays thirty five minutes tonight too. By the way, he said he's trying to play as many minutes as possible. Mm-hmm. Joel Embiid plays thirty five minutes tonight. So look, look, Mars, look for like a thirty two. 12 and like seven game tonight. I'm looking for 45. <laughs> it's Joel and B, you know, what to tell you, man. He is from Bulls and Wizards. Ugh. It's the NBA. I game, will not man. be, I will not be watching is, that. Is game. it really an NBA game, no more? Is it, it really? is? It is. <laughs> it is it's an exhibition game. <laughs> I won't be watching that game. And shout out to anyone who does. Is there a, is, is, in, in the last five years? For you guys, is there a team that's been more mid in the NBA than the Bulls? Yeah, yeah, the, the Kings with with Demarcus. No, uh, no, you guys were just bad. You guys were yeah, just bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we were we were mid with with Demarcus, Rudy, and Rajon. We were mid, bro. We we were we were decent. Bro. Then you win, but like, that was like a. Like a then you win like thirty three games. Then you win like thirty three games. That's not mid. That's bad. You guys were a bad team. No, Mars. We were mid, Mars. <laughs> call it whatever you want to call it. You guys were bad. Fact was garbage. <laughs> oh, I was right. Thirty-three wins. Yeah, bad team. Ooh, it was a bad team. Trash. We lost some games, but we were mid, Mars. I. Right. <laughs> the Blazers. I'll say the Blazers were dead. Over the last five years, what's that? The bubble year. So bubble MVP. Mm. Um, Twenty-one first round exits to Denver. 22, Dame was hurt, bad team. 23, 11 seed or whatever. Yeah, they've been kind of mid. They've been kind of mid. 19, 19, 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 22. But they're bad. They're bad now. Like, consistently mid. I think it might be the Bulls. Toronto's been mid. They play Toronto, the Toronto, Toronto's been mid for a while. Not as long as the Bulls, though. I mean, the Bulls had that one year where they were top five seed in... <laughs> The the Mar DeRozan was playing as good as he could possibly play, but other than that, they're the chick. That's a six. I want to. I want to say the Warriors and Lakers, but they snuck a championship in these little stretches. So I can't. They, you got, we got to take that off the table, Mars. Yeah. You got to take I, that off the, the table. The Warriors have been mid. Like I don't know. The twenty one Warriors were mid. The twenty three Warriors were mid. The twenty four Warriors been mid, and then twenty was bad, and then twenty two was great. I well, got together bad that, that, and great. Last year's Warriors, you think they were mid balls? I mean, I think they were better than that. I mean, they 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 ended up winning the playoff series. They went to the against the mid team. They beat a mid team. I mean, they still got mid. Steph Curry just went crazy in Game Seven. Come on, the Warriors been mid, man. I don't know what to tell you. This year they're mid. Last year they were mid. Twenty two. Okay, they were cool. Twenty one mid and twenty they were terrible. What's the you got championship and worst team in the league? You balance that out mid. Five years stretch mid. <laughs> we, were the, actually, we were actually better it. than them last year. Keep it real. We were actually better than them. They just I had, had you guys winning the players. series. Yeah, I had you guys winning the series, but well, now I got the Warriors. The Warriors have been mid. I'm sorry. So they did. So they missed the playoffs in 20. And they were the they worst team the in the league. Yeah, they missed the playoffs again in 21. Yeah, mid. Because of the, because of the play, even though they even though they, yeah, they were the eight seed, they were the eight seed. So I'll right. say they were mid. Right. Won the NBA championship in 22. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you give them that. Mm-hmm. Last year they were the six seed. Mid. What is it? What is it? Six seed? Yeah, six seed last year. And right now they're the nine seed. They, they were out the playoff. They were out out of the playing tournament. And then this year they're the ninth seed. So in yeah. the last three years, so in the last three years, championship, top six seed this year in the playing tournament. That's not mid, Moss. No, no, no. See, because it's a little bit better. Than that. The last five years. Right. In 21, 19, 20. Worst right. team in the NBA. Remember, right. worst team in the NBA. Garbage. Next year, playing right. team. Next year, playing team. Right. Then right. they win the championship. Cool. Next year, six seed. 
This year, nine seeds. The only years there they weren't mid was the year they were the worst team in the league and the year they won a championship. If you go from being the best team in the league one year and the worst team in the league another year, where does that balance out? 15th. Mid. And the, Chicago, mid. Bulls, and the Chicago Bulls have been, I think, 9th, 10th, 12th, and 12th over the last Consistently five. Consistently bad. The Warriors Garbage. are mid. Yeah, bad. <laughs> you ask mid. The most mid team, Warriors, <laughs> on average. It's the Warriors. Mid. Just simple <laughs> mathematics. I don't know what to tell you. Simple <laughs> mathematics. Y'all, I got one more game I got to ask you about. Who yeah. wins the Pacers and the Cavs tonight? I'm taking the Cavs. I'm taking the Pacers. We got. I want the Cavs to win, though, but I'm taking the Pacers. Cavs, Pacers, who you got tonight? Ron, I don't give a shit about any of these games, okay? <laughs> No, hey, stop asking all right. me, all right, bro. Hey, let, stop let, asking let, me, bro. There's only, let, there's only me, one game I care about. Okay, well, let me do you one better. Who wins the Suns Kings? Kings, we win tonight. <laughs> Mars, chill. Who y'all got? Give me I'm taking Suns. I'm taking Phoenix in this game. Yep. I'm taking Phoenix too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm out. I gotta go. <laughs> Later, big ox. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all be easy. We'll be back on Monday to recap a crazy ass weekend of hoops. It's 15 games tonight, 15 games yep. on Sunday. And on Sunday, we will know what the playoffs is going to look like. So, y'all brace yourselves, tap in, lock in, check out these games. Remember, Open Gym is not next, it's now. And also, after Open Gym, be sure to tap in to NBA X. Good night. Nice. Six Eastern. We'll catch y'all later. We out. Later.